yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all still in. <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, what the heck? I'm going to restart Tabletop Simulator. Let me switch my stream so it doesn't uh, show random things. There we go. All right, we're back at it. We're loading back in. How is the old uh, overlay? The overlay should be working perfectly, actually. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. All right, I'm back in. Everything seems to be working correctly. I don't know if anyone's here, but uh, wait, I'll probably we, tell people we're once we're I get back. For five. We're breaking for five. Um, cool, that's all good. Everybody should, yeah, everybody should be back in like two minutes. Yeah, it's all good. You can let if if I'm not here, um, you guys can start up whenever you're here. I might just stand up for a quick second, uh, but we're all working again. So, thank you guys very much. Nice. Oh man, I like fully disconnected, but the stream is back up. Perfect. Okay. Weird that it like disconnected, reconnected. The viewer feed's all like flipping out. What the heck? I am live right now, right? I think so. Okay, let's check. Yes, okay, perfect. That's still working. You love to see it. Flawless. Nice. All right. Break should be over very soon. Then we'll hop right back into it. Let's take a look at some token counts because that was just updated. Oh, I don't have all the history of the things that happen. That's all funny. Everyone's got a little bit of tokens. Cabal notably did spend all their influence here for more tokens. Uh, I'm wondering how they're going to score eight, eight influences. It'll be tough. Unless they grab Mechatol this round, in which case it will not be tough. That seems like that's just got to be what they do. It's their only path. Question is, are they nice and let Nalu come in, and then Nalu scores Imperial, and then they leave? Or is there going to be a little more bloodshed than that? Nobody knows. What else is going on? Nalu is still a little bit low in tokens. It's just a lot. Nalu have a low influence slice. We got one, two, three, four. Wow, that's really it. Oh yeah, five, six, seven. Okay. If they have two tokens, and if they get two trade goods per round, then that buys them three tokens, which should be plenty of tokens. But I feel like now there's been a little bit low on tokens the whole game. 
It was one of the main reasons why they weren't able to make history last round, actually, was their lack of tokens. They have also been using tokens to ex explore the uh, Dark Energy taps, uh, the Frontier tokens, but all three of their explorations so far have yielded tokens in return, so... Hasn't been uh, too much of a drain on their economy, and by too much, I mean a drain at all. I guess besides the fact that they had to follow tech in order to research it, but that's not a big problem. That's that's baked into the budget. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> I think we can start. Let's look how the people are back. Yep, good to go. Let's start the timer. Okay, start the timer. They're remembering to start the timer. Yep. And I pray induce run in each other. Awesome, and I am muted, okay. and we're back at it. Planet. Yeah, so I get one trip. You get a trade good? Yeah, but I have less than three. So ah, okay. A little industrial initiative from Cabal to gain a trade good. Nice little stall as well. We've seen a lot of stalls come out. And here comes trade. All right. <laughs> My Hawk is currently neighbors with Mentak via the beta wormhole. So expect to see a lot of pillaging unless the deal's worked out real quick. One yellow. Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, yeah. I use my agent. And Take I'll watch dread. you right away. Yep, and I, I've actually, I remember I do get um, five total. So just, just a five. So I'll get four. Oh my goodness, Mentech is rich in trade goods. Oh, you have that one. Yeah. I know what, I, I'm a nice guy. So it's only. I have so many tokens. Mentech's just so rich in general. It's crazy. Did you take your one already, Mentech? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to now. They've had a very successful pillaging game. Better. Red. All right, thank you. Yes, for all doing that. you right away. Okay. And I guess yeah, I guess you wash me as well. Yep. I'll wash you, oh. and then I'll wash the debt. I did something wrong. There's been a very friendly trade table in general. It's resulted in a lot of them being out on the yeah. board. Is that evidenced um, by the fact that yeah, Cabal is almost I, always I took three, and then Mintak stole one, and I thought you got your one, didn't you? Or did you not? I got one from you and Mintak, so I should be on five. So Mintak took two. Right? Yes. How many did you have? Uh, before I had that? three, and I, I netted three more, because five minus one from you, minus one yep. from Mintak. Yep. So it's correct. Okay, Purple, you have a depth on my... Area, so I think uh, I refreshed you in first round and you still didn't pay it. So, what about a free refresh? I mean, for, a, for yeah, this yeah, depth, yeah, definitely free refresh for you. Okay, so I remove your debt and I refresh for free. Uh, well, I, almost done getting their debts back, they just have to collect uh, one from now somehow. Yeah. I will spend it and yeah, yeah, uh, and white. Um, so I don't think we're neighbors, so I don't think we have any way to deal with that. I've already cut commodities, so okay, okay. unless you see anything, you? I don't think it makes sense. Uh, yeah, I, I'll take the deal and same of probably not refresh right now. Yeah. Cool. And... Yeah, so uh, X minus yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, I'm good with we X minus less. one. There you go. Oh, so. But I have to take all three of them, right? Yeah. No, you want. Oh, I need oh, that to... was a three one There we go. That should do, yeah. Let me split it up. Yeah. Finally done with trade. On to Nasroko holding warfare. 
Looks like we got a lot of refreshing. Mohawk still didn't end up with that many trade goods, though. But you know who did end up with trade goods? Mentec. Mentec. Look at this board right here. This is a rich faction. They don't even have mirror computing. Still sitting on their tech deck. And yet they're just flush with everything they could possibly need. Cabal even has trade goods. Everyone has trade goods. What a friendly game. NRA has trade goods. Center his turn. What's he up to? Oh, he's taking a look. Where's his hand going? Um. Okay. He's gonna hold his hand. Speaking <laughs> of warfare, in theory, uh, NRA might be going into this system here. It's on the other side of the alpha. Interesting. Not a legendary worm. Kind of locked in right now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I think their placement scoring would be the best one. Yeah. Make history. That's kind of difficult. But you do have grab drive, so. Yeah. Nostroka is the only faction on the table with your gravity drive currently. Okay. Um. They double teched anti mass grab drive last round. Anti-mass very important for their ability to score make history. Oh, Still thinking. I forgot to use my bios dims. I hope it's okay, guys. Yeah. I'm all I'm all good with it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna. That's a great point. Not a chance. That's a great point. Build at home. It's clearly weak. It's a, the rest of the table showing that you don't need a. Blue tech at all, this should probably just be buffed really hard. It's the only reasonable solution. I wonder what we'll see built. I would assume either a cruiser or a destroyer to assist with grav drive going into this gravity rift so that they can score make history. There's a cruiser. What else does he want? More cruisers. Getting a little funky with it. Nope, he's taking the cruisers back. He's thinking again. Interesting build. The real question is, what is Nalu up to this round? So they did a lot of stalling. Uh, they want to score two public objectives. Did they leave influence left over? No, they don't even have enough trade goods. Could you to score eight influence. Do it during our turns. Yeah, As such, yeah, uh, they want to score three structures. Which do they do that this turn? Wait, does Nalu do that? All right, I'm going to use one, my two. agent. I'm going to move three fighters from my home system up here without activating the system. So Nalu uses Zu to bolster this fleet with even more fighters. That is all for me. Very smart. Now they've got a force that can take Mechatol and hold it. Before it was a little concerning about their firepower being tied also to their HP, but now, now this is a formidable, formidable little set of guys. Couple little guys. Look at him. Looks like it's looks like they're about ready. I wonder if they're also trying to stall at Imperial a little bit so that the other players don't know where they're due secret objectives. These are going to be the first secret objectives that any player sees Agenda. uh since the start of the game. So there was no round two Imperial. Given the ease of scoring the objectives at round one. And the difficulty of the new objective. Purple. Um, 
or for round two? Oh, no, no. Okay. Did you leave it on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and check it as well. Look at it as well. You gotta move it away. Yeah. Min text doing a little build here. I find it likely that we get a support swap between yellow and red. One because uh, green and white swaps, and two because they don't really want to throw these giant fleets at each other's space docks immediately. Jeez. Seems like a not great time. We'll play Imperial Vault for another mech. Oh, shoot. And I'm also going to produce here. Building, who's up next? No diplomacy this round for once, strangely, but also not strangely. So we're on to Kellera's next. We should start seeing some passes soon. Like there's not very much that people had to do this round. The goals were for most players, uh, spend all your resources, don't spend all your influence. Uh, and because you don't want to spend all your influence, then- All right, I think I'm gonna flip politics. Yeah. So uh, first up, someone gets speaker. Um, so red, we talked about selling back two for four bucks. Yep, I'll do that. All right, and four. Holy smokes, four dollars yeah. for a speaker going back twice. All right, and two. Yeah, that's a jump. I haven't seen that one. More action cards for Kellaris. Um, and Eagle action card. All right, I'm just going to draw those. And then let's see what the agendas are. So far this game, we had bottom two agendas, oh, bottom okay. two agendas. Let's take token. Also notably, Mentech gets the speaker token, so Cabal is not guaranteed Imperial here. By any means. I'm gonna just... I do still think, uh, as someone mentioned earlier, that Mechatol Rex does need to be taken. Uh, so um, and so I the ball can score the eight influence at some point. So move on. Mm, I do still have a commodities. Sorry? Do you still have a commodities? Yes, I do. Do you want to wash each other without the yeah. period? Yeah, we can do that. Little two for two wash up here between two two commodity factions. That's a lot of twos. Almost as many twos as a stage full of batter ballerinas. Okay, I play uprising on a Mahakt and it's going to be Astrot. Uh could I pay you not to? There is no nah, there's a I can use it. <laughs> um why do you say that? I mean, you can use it on any planet. We're seeing all the exhaust cards come out. That's making the spend resources part of the spend all your resources thing a lot trickier. So... Well, it's also notable that Cabal got that because Cabal is also the player with the five resource planet. So it's nice that uh, they grabbed it so someone didn't use it on them. Pick either red or white. Whatever you pay me, it's just going to be pillage. So, mm -hmm. does, does the planet have to exhaust for it to trigger? Yes. I'm uncertain about that as well. Exhaust one controlled by another player. I guess it has to be unexhausted. So, okay, that's why right. because I, I, I was going to offer. I mean, all mine are exhausted. So, if it, it, green, you can exhaust me. Yeah, you do have to exhaust a planet in order to do the second part. Yeah. I cannot use it on a non-exhausted planet. Exhaust me. Uh, who's talking? Blue? That's red, but it, it, I'd like something in return, I guess. But I cannot play it on the exhaust your you. home system. Oh, it, oh okay. It yeah, has yeah. to be exhausted, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I missed that. Oh, no, no. Oh, yep. So the only options is blue and purple. 
I, mean, I do I'll have some planets down here in my build area. None of worth above two, but they're oh, options. Okay. Um, okay. You could use it on there, Custodia of Agilia. I like the thematics of the Uprising on Custodia of Agilia. Yeah, but uh, Red is going to pre so I get nothing from it. You could, you could block White from getting a point. Potentially. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. Can I play it on Custody of Julia or it's it's a planet, right? Yep. yep. Any planet. Uh yep. So you can, you can always uh, right. he still has his agent. He also still has a bunch of trade goods too. Yeah, but he's so... also... Yep. Okay, so I play the uh, play it on Custody of Julia and uh, I don't think White will miss a. Uh, but remember, he doesn't to add too much value. You I'm only not playing it on you. I mean, oh. purple, I'm not playing it on you, but you uh, pay me later if when yeah, Jared sure, sure. is not going to play. So I play it on White, and the planet is Custodia with Julia. All right. Uh, I close it, and I get one. You can just hear it in his voice that White's not too upset about that. It's not that big of a deal. He's so rich already. Yeah. You can see the eight influence that he's planning on spending right here for the objective. You can see he still has plenty of other unexhausted resource planets and plenty of trade goods. Um, yellow, you're gonna move that cruiser, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotta be uh, your next turn. Okay, I can make that happen. I wonder if Nala will pop dynamic score so that they can uh, spend eight influence. I'm removing it. Mahawk lifts their token with their two cruisers. Interesting. I wonder where those are going. Uh, war and uh, warfare is here. Well, how'd you move those two? You see, my commander. commander. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're upset. One of the main reasons why Mahawk's so crazy. They can just lift up tokens time and time again. Very, Blue. very powerful. That I can use my agent for you. Uh, I mean... Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? You want to use your home system and that... Yeah, I mean, if, if you mind. wanted to pick one up off my home system, I would not mind that either, so... Sure. It's done. Thank you. So next, uh, we're still doing some warfare builds. Keller is with a fat fleet. Uh, Nazroka unsurprisingly lifted up their token over Quan. That should allow them to go into this gravity rift and make history. That should be very helpful. Uh, Mentak supplements with uh, even more cruisers. So, purple, if I move this cruiser out of this in between. Or you're well, I guess you'd come around anyways. So never mind. I I just want to make sure I'm not about to Yeah, I mean just move in. What is Nalu up to? I thought that cruiser would go into an anomaly. But it did not. Make sure I'm waiting this right. Well I guess Megator Rex is one of the things, and then they have plenty of stuff to go into this anomaly. That makes sense. That's it, that's all they're taking. No mech. Um Nala, you need a ground force. Well, you did still do one of my planets. I'm going to take a shot. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, um, I guess I'll just roll seven trouble. Uh, so it's on a five versus ships. Direct, where's the roller? Oh, there it is. That, that's what I'm bringing with me. I'm done moving stuff. There it is. So. Oh, sorry. Um, so oh, it's good. I mean, I just, I was just letting you know that I wasn't trying to sneak more ships in there. I was just debating my fighters, <laughs> and then I will drop um, my ground force down and take my guitar. Um I'm gonna shoot at that too. Wait, is it just one ground force? 
Uh, I've got my fighters in an invasion step. Okay. The matriarch. So, right. so you won't yeah. lose regardless. All right. So yeah. that is true. Take the shot. I was worried for a second. I forgot that the uh, fighters can uh -huh. help them sponge up Ooh. the ground forces hits. Okay. So you can you can hit. Oh, is this your is this your? Yeah, space cannon defense. So yeah, space cannon defense. Fighter. All of that. Okay. Yep. Yep. And I don't correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think I have to because I can commit my fighters to invasion, so I should still be able to take the planet. So I can just kill the ground force. Um, no, the, uh, fighters can't capture a planet, so you would have to take it on a fighter. Okay. Very cool. I know if the matriarch overruled that or not, that's fine. So the, the confusion here, the Nalu flagship allows the fighters to be committed to the ground combat in the system. Yes. Uh, but at the end of the combat, those units return to the space area, and notably... The end of the combat is before Wait, the, the established yeah. control that, step that where they would get the clinch point. For the objective scoring? No. Like when you control when you control mech? Uh ooh, I don't think so. No, it's just gain space scan. It doesn't say it's just also gain, a structure. It's okay. So, I wasn't scoring that. Just just curious. I've never actually played with Kalaris. We have new holders of Mechatorex. The Kalaris came in. Took the custodians, established the custodian of Agilio, and dipped to go to cooler places. Yeah. Like it's the wormhole nexus. Pretty good so far. Yeah. Next step, we're back to red. So I'm curious to see Green's turn. I wonder if they're going to uh, extort yellow here. Yellow, do you want to make that deal? Yeah, yeah. Let's what do. can green bring? Can green win this space combat? There's three Nalu fighters, a Nalu flagship, There's and a Nalu cruiser. Oh, there's the very expected red-yellow yellow support red. swap. Cool. So all that's remaining is the purple-blue cool support swap in theory. But yeah. So the Falls flagship, it's two on a five. That's ridiculous. That's going to okay. hurt. No. And then I'm going to spy on you. And Cabal has plenty of fighters lying around, Random too. Card from your hand. Yeah, Cabal should be able to take this very easily. How many... Uh, how much I don't know how we randomize it. Only three? That's not two. Do I just grab one? Uh, but let me... I, I think I can make a... I wonder if I can make a deck out of them. Uh, flip the cards in your hand and just place it on the area, I think, then place G to group it. So what do I need to do? Drag them out of your hand into your play area, face down. Oh, just... they're turning up. They're turning up. Oh, oh, they're I, didn't see, I didn't see them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, and now press G, G on them. Yeah. Honestly, you can just take, I mean, just take one. You want to. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to draw one. Yep. That works. I'm going to shuffle and then I'm going to draw one. Perfect. Cool. All right. Back up. It's already back to me. Um. Round's going fast. Is Keller is done. Keller seems about done with everything they need to do. You got the good one. Congratulations. <laughs> that worked out well. Um, so let's see. Um, uh, Blue, would you be interested in buying the fragment at a later date? Uh, which fragment is it? Uh, the blue one. Blue one uh, at a later date. Well, we talked about oh, okay. maybe not right so, now, so we don't get pillaged. Perfectly. Yeah, I get you. Um, yes, I'd be interested in that. Okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure I'm not the one buying, because then I have to not pass. But if you're buying, then I'm passing. Keller is passes. Our first pass of the round. Nice objectives making the game being able to go a little quicker. These players are very thorough. They're not slow. I, I like the, the, the way they chug along. They don't play particularly fast, but they also don't have too many moments where they slow the game down a lot so much appreciated okay 
Okay. The Cabal are coming in. So they were just waiting for the Nalo to come in. The Mech Hotel. The flagship is coming, and he has free capacity. Oh my goodness, this ruins Nalu. Um, yeah, Nalu should at least be able to score two anomalies, but... Okay, I will place it here for a moment, just to count. Oh man. Do we want to warp yeah. it over? We'll be right back while they set this up. Oh yeah, that's... Okay, uh, nine capacity now, so to the red is, is coming to it's ten capacity, so four fighters next two fighters, two max from whole system, and I can bring two more. All right, I'm going to... Wait, 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 I still didn't uh, finish my movement. No, it's enough fighters, I think. Okay, the carrier is going to move into Zobat, go back and move to the Makato and take this one mech. Okay, did I blink too much? I did. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, it's my final movement. The capacity is correct, I think. Got it. The fleet is correct. Okay. Um, do you play anything after the movement? I'm considering if I want to use my retreat, which is after movement. You mean Units are here. Yeah, yeah this is going to win. After movement. Uh... It's going to win the space combat. I love the positioning of these units. It shows just how puny the Nalu fleets are compared to the Cabal army that's coming in. Good play by Cabal to wait until after the Nalu got here. So Nalu is going to use their foresight ability here, which is going to enable them to basically do a skilled retreat. Nope, he's not going to do his, his skilled retreat. He's just doing a normal retreat. So, no cars at the start of the combat, right? Or do you play anything? Um, I will go ahead and use morale boost. Okay, so place it in your area. Cool. I do not got a little morale boost. Anything. And do you play anything more? No. Nah. Okay, so you retreat and we roll one round of space combat. Now we can in theory sponge six hits. Uh, Ooh, that's five. Oof. The flagship's gonna limp out of there. And you have three hits. Okay. I wonder if this is gonna be I'll a uh, secret objective scored for Cabal. I have five. five. Okay, I'm gonna play Shields Holding. <laughs> okay. Good card. And I'm also going to play Courageous to the end. So I'll get to roll two die for one of my fighters, and for each hit, you have to destroy a ship. Okay. So I'm going to assign the hits. Moral, moral boost doesn't come from this roars, right? No, no, it does not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so I... Um, I will destroy... I'm not going to to sustain my flagship, just in case. I'll destroy that. Where is the rule? How does Courageous to the End do? Notably, Courageous to the End yeah. does not only have to be used on... um. Non fighter ships, it can fighters. still be applied to Cabal's fighters. Seven. Yep. Okay, you can click. It's two. two. One. Yeah, two dices. 
So oh, seven second hit one and oh two hits. Cabal's got to destroy two fighters. Yeah. Two ships. Oh shit. Yep. But it can be a fighter, so okay. Yes, it can be a fighter. Yes, okay, you figured it out. I was worried that you didn't know it could be fighters. Did not say non-fighter ships. Remember, it goes to his pool. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, did you destroy anything? I no? destroyed two fighters and a creature, so good, good catch okay. there. You can grab that. Okay, and... Sorry, between... Uh, uh, I should have captured a lot of Cabal's own fighters as well. It looks like it did. Oh, I have a... Lots of value there, so Cabal's now got some nice plastic to produce for free. Now you remove two fighters. Look at all that. These guys will retreat. Two. Even got Dreadnought 2s. Okay, oh my yeah, goodness. The planet. Dreadnoughts anywhere in this railgun can go. Uh, First I... off, they just make it here. Now they can move two units from here. Uh, oh, Cabal is... Where do you take it? A nicely set up slice. Do you take country with you? Um, very scary. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everything lands. I well, now establishes an extraordinarily yeah. strong foothold on Mechatorex. I didn't use foresight. This will come out of the bag as opposed to out of my strategy. You dealed me a lot of hits. Look at that. Than I expected. Yeah, that was ball straight down the railgun. Doesn't look like Nalu's gonna crank out a their first one of the tournament here. Wonder if Mentek's gonna grab Imperial next round to deny it from Cabal. Feels like if they are going to do that, they should probably put some gum in this system. <laughs> I wouldn't want Cabal to be able to retaliate from their railgun. Uh too hard. Mahak to go into Malice. Does Mahak have gravity drive? No. Mahak can move one, two with anything that can move two spaces, but what do they have? Is it just those cruisers? Oh, they can take a lot of cruisers from their home system as well. Oh, they should be able to claim Malice most likely. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm. I assume no hope we can talk through this. Mm, what are you offering? Um, well, um, it's notable that Keller's isn't actually that really too much to offer, but I can't retreat anywhere, so. Oof. We'd get the Keller's Commander, although the Keller's Commander to this day has not been unlocked yet, so. We'll just get the fleet token. I guess let's I don't just know do it. That well. I mean, I get your commander. Um, what else do you have to offer? The trade goods, I could get that myself and I'll lose one. Calaris could just spend, it's could really just pay two trade goods, because he's going to get pillaged no matter what he gives over anyway, so it's at least one trade good. Himself. All right. And you are ahead. Oh, you didn't even bring infantry. Uh, I've not. I'm not done yet. You. Oh, okay. I'm about some kind of trade. I'm, I'm always. Somebody willing. say trade goods. Mentak <laughs> <laughs> hears people discussing doing transactions with trade goods. Instantly curious. Gotta love a good old-fashioned malice extortion. You have a lot of action. Part of the cost of going there is that kind of everyone can extort you, especially on this map with the wormholes and all the equidistance. Uh, is this the final? Is this favored to win? So I had an accident once with <laughs> one. Yes. Uh, a mech and a dreadnought loose. I'd take a fight or two if I was mocked, but yeah. I don't want that <laughs> You're scarred now for life. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I would have rather fight it, but I don't want that accident to happen again. It lost me the game. Yeah, I think this is it. All right. Well, let's roll it. All right. There we go. It has to be a fight to the death. The Only Mahawk could retreat here. 
One hit each. Good start for um All right. I'll sustain. For Calaris. Is that Dreadnought 2? That is not a Dreadnought 2. But no direct hit. Sustain gets away with. Come on. Oh. That's yeah, this is what I was saying. My Hawked Head fighters in the home system should have brought one of them. Oh, didn't I click? Oh, this is just sad for... Uh... Nope. Oh, hold on, this... hold on. Oh, is yeah. it not enrolling all your guys? Uh, do we have to re-roll this? Let's see what it's been rolling. weren't on it. Um, I'm moving them over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was only rolling... rolling... One cruiser this whole time? It's been only rolling one cruiser. Let's see. Oh, that's what's been going wrong. Second roll is one. And you had three in total, right? You four. Had four. Yeah, he's been missing out on a lot of rolls. That's why the hits haven't been coming in. Okay, I mean, I'm fine just resetting from the start. Uh, yeah. I've had some good luck, and you should almost certainly have me here, so... Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Guinea Pig Gamer, keeping it easy. Let's just go back to the top of the combat. Put the four cruisers in there. There we go. All right, this is what we were expecting to see. Oh, I didn't actually get a hit there. You didn't? Uh, you did get one hit. I don't think so. It says one hit. Your dreadnought hit. No, it doesn't. Oh, has it not been rolling my... Oh, jeez. I should have moved my unit over also. Uh, <laughs> do we have to do re redo it? No, that's it's fine. I might be missing a hit, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, I had one hit. And yeah, you took the hit, so whatever. All right. And you got a hit there? Yeah. Alright. Done and there we go. Okay. Mahawk cleans it up. Only loses two of their four cruisers once they rolled the proper number of things. We go to ground combat. Nope. How good is this uh infantry? Oh, not very. Oh, very not very good. Bye bye. There we go. Bye bye. See you later. And I got a fleet top. That infantry is out of there and Mahawk claims Malice and one of Kellaria's uh and... fleet tokens. To add to the collection. It's a very pretty one. If you guys haven't seen that, I believe these were designed by um by Wecker on the Discord. Because they did not come printable uh with the new codex. They're based off of, I believe, this symbol right here. Yep. And then put onto a nice fancy background. They look amazing. Let's try again. Just lovely. Here comes Nazroka. They have their flagship buffing up two of their mechs in space. So they're going to hit two oh, on an eight. Okay. Okay. Spark a rebellion. Uh, oh, nice. Spark a rebellion. Oh, interesting. Mahakt also scoring a seeker there. A good move. Okay. Uh, uh, intact. All right. I will use, I will use the, the, the ambush. Yeah. You don't have to. Uh this is risky. Oh, that's so good for Nazroka. I will announce my retreat at this point. To where? Mentech can't retreat. Now we go into space combat. Yep. And so let's see. Do oh. I need to do anything special for my mechs here or what? Oh, yep. Sorry. No, Benediction is now unlocked. Mentech, do you have anywhere legal to retreat? Um, can I not go into a, a neutral space zone like these guys? Correct. You cannot retreat. Anymore, I think. Okay. All right. I guess we're fighting to the death then. To the death. Roll a bunch of dice. Space combat time. What is the Nazroka flagship on nines? But these are rolling three dice on eights. Two hits. One hit. One two. Two hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang. Okay. And what did I get? You got one hit. One hit with all of that. <sighs> I'll sustain damage. And mechs don't sustain in space, right? Let me check. Correct. Nazroka mechs do not sustain in space. We've seen a lot of combat this uh, round. Does not. Big Mechatol fight between green and yellow. Big Malos fight between white and purple. And now a less big but still big fight in the anomaly. Between red and blue. So everyone's getting in on the action. One hit. And that'll do it. One hit. 
a relief for Nazroka. All right, cruiser is trashed. Barely manages to trickle to the anomaly point. I don't think anyone's going to try to deny that too hard, though. Okay. Uh, Nazrok is a little behind as is. And let's so. see, just to make sure, we are no longer neighbors anywhere, right? Yep, not even through the beta wormhole. Yep, yep that is correct <laughs> for now. Okay. Okay. Did you and... make a part of the void or not? No, I'm sadly just trying to score <laughs> a public here. Um, uh, purple. It's would true. You like to um, swap alliances oh. or our supports. Uh, blue. Um, yeah, I could. Just... <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a support, but I really want a token from you, if that's possible. Yeah, I get, I get you on that. I would hate it if you took it right now. Cause I mean, I'm not taking that after field. Get. You need that to score a point. But yeah. In, in, in a is, it, is it too much to ask? What? To wait for the support until I have your token as well. Um, I mean, I'll pay you for it. That's for sure. That, that's what that's what I was going to say. I, I'm willing to do it. Having that point at this exact moment doesn't change anything, but I would want to get paid for Losing a planet or... I mean, I really want to win against you in a combat. I don't need to take anything from you, just win a system. I fully understand, yeah. I no, mean, you I'm... could move your destroyer somewhere. Uh, yep. And I'll pay you, like, three trade goods. So you... this one... Um, I'm, yeah, right I'm, now. Good. I'm good with that, yeah. And I could use my agent on you next time as well. I like that. Yeah, that works. Okay. So Nazroka really needs to hold on to these two anomalies. So, and obviously Mahak could take it out, given that they have anti mass. Raid and you'll get the agent next round. Okay. Um, but would you uh They're working out a deal, also, so that doesn't are you happen. willing to wash one of my commodities for me right now? Um you'll lose one if I do that. No, I don't touch Mentac anymore. Really? Yeah. Not anymore. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Then I think you'll flip one of those. Um, okay. You just have yeah, to no. move a destroyer somewhere where I can take it. Nice. Like you could put it on uh, Mahasul. Okay. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll... sorry, Blue. Before you end your turn, did you want to do any okay. trades over here? Uh, oh, are you no longer touching? <laughs> I am not. Um, I mean, I would say with that, uh, yes, I would like um, ever come to terms of what what the relic fragment was going to cost me. Um, I mean, your alliance will combo well with my law. I can just go conquer lots of systems and do lots of things at once. Um, it is true. The Kellerist does have uh, the ability to gain trade goods when they gain control of a planet. So they're asking for the Nazroka Alliance, which will also let them to ex explore that planet when they do that. All right. The Kellerist could maybe even get a Use my integrated economy down yellow. Dynamis Core Relic to go ahead and gain trade Five trade goods. Very smart over here. Mm -hmm. uh, so now Nalu is going to be able to score eight influence if they would like to. Just with trade goods. And I will go ahead and take one. Yes. Neighbor. Did you take one from them? I'm loving these flagships on the board. They've made these combats uh, fascinating. One. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'll, okay, I'll go ahead and for this. Cool, cool. Simply enthralling. You're going to have a, a bit more. Looks like the, uh, what is this, the moon? The something moon? The fourth moon. Fourth moon's just going to sit over Mole Primus as a defense mechanism. Can't stand not being neighbors with people. <laughs> <laughs> Ventec, moving on out. Get some neighbors back. Beta wormhole is crucial for their neighborliness with Mahakt and NRA. Uh, Blue, can you read my whisper? I was uh, still doing a bit of production. They've got it all lined up. That's very helpful. Uh, yeah, yeah. Really well planned out. I'm not moving here anything, just producing my stuff. Look at that. 
Wells got a giant fleet on Mechatol. They've got a giant fleet within their railgun ready to okay. do whatever they need. Okay. The only thing they're missing is a giant fleet at home. Because I only have one oh, is that what it was? Sorry. That's fine. Uh, let's see if I want to do... Oh, you never moved that uh, destroyer? It's because that was I had already done my turn. I just haven't oh, been able yeah. to do it yet. Okay, so next turn. Well, Purple could just put his fleet wherever he wants the destroyer to go. Like, Luke can literally just send the destroyer into Purple's giant fleet by use of gravity drive. So, I don't think it's that big of an issue. Gonna spin my commander. Tokens being lifted off of Malice. Where are these cruisers going? Mahakt only has two more other people he needs to get the tokens from. And that would be Nazroka and Kalaris. Wait, no, he already got Kalaris. It's Nazroka and Cabal, I believe, actually. But where is the easiest place for Mahakt to win against Cabal? Oh, and just... I'm also using Predicted. Sorry. There aren't a lot of them, because Cabal is in the one of the okay, least perfect. wormhole accessible That's slices. This I can get there with my destroyer. Ta da! Oh, yeah, you can also send it directly into me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Into the maw of the beast. Yeah. And you're not using AFP, right? Uh, no, I'm fine not using it. Can I get an F in the chat for this brave destroyer. Must appease the neighbor. Yeah, four hits. That'll hit. That'll hit. That'll do. That'll win the fight. Okay. And we do the swap. Should have brought up the... Uh... I'm good with that now, so let's see. Yep. On the final marriage. Purple and blue. Token. Yep. And with that, the battle lines have been drawn. The map cut nicely into delicious thirds for Cabalda. Consider where they're going to go. Although Mentax flagship does counter Cabal's giant fleets somewhat with its ability to prevent the Dreadnought 2s that Cabal has from using sustained damage. Agent in the future. Yeah. Oh, and also, you watch that last trade good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um... I think that's everything. I'm going to pop Imperial. It is Imperial. And I will get a secret and I'll go ahead and score the spend eight influence. I follow just the contrary. No, Nalu at least is going to be ma nope. managed to score with Imperial, and they should be able to score Legendary to Rex. Drawing. Drawing secrets. An anomaly. And uh, finally, at yeah. long last, everyone gets to see some delicious secrets. Yeah, I think that's only when we have to start discarding. Yeah. Nalu did it. They're up with the cool kids. Look at them. Are we scoring already? Look at how nicely these scores uh, are progressing. I, I scored from. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just me. Everyone's got some delicious secrets to score now, too. We didn't really get a good indication of who was happy or sad with I their secret draw. Here as well. And the Nalu heroes unlocked too. I wonder if we'll see that now. That's going to allow them to steal a couple of promissory notes. We also have a second pass. That's good.
All gonna do a little build at home. Spiders are here. How many more dreadnoughts do they have left to build? Zero. That's the last one. I count one, two, three, four. And the fifth one's coming out. Ball is dreadnoughted up. They're flagshipped up. They've almost got. I mean, they've got all of their good plastic out, and it's round three. Jeez. They even only have one carrier left they could build. Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess that's what a plus two resource Zobat will do with double diplomacy being picked. Goodness. Moving forward. Straight towards Nekatol Rex. Interesting. Does Mahak still have a build prepped? No, they do not. They have a couple more resources they can spend. They're likely to use those over here. They're just inching forward. I guess they're now prepared. They can attack Mechatol if they want. They're not going to win. They can. Um, fleet's further forward, so it can do more good stuff. Oh, they unlocked the Malice fleet, so... Interesting. I wonder if uh, Nolly requested that the cruisers move. Because now Nolly could go over the airspace in Malice to, to help score the two anomalies. Legendaries and Mechatol decks. You reckon uh, Mahak could win the base combat here on Mechatol? There's only two fighters left because Mahak or because Nalu killed three of them. I feel like that's likely, especially given that Mahak does not have a uh, Cabal's token yet. Ain't a relic. Purge my two blue fragments. Ooh, another relic for Nazroka. Junior would be very good for them here. Uh, the Obsidian would be very good for them here. Scepter of Emilpar would be fine for them here. Are there any? There's nothing left for them to follow this round. Well, that'll save them two tokens. That's just worse than two relic fragments. But whatever, they tried. There were some good rolls, and there were some bad rolls. All right. Let's light up my face. Guys, what's the rule on, on speaker token? Is that once it's placed, can it not move anymore? Or can it be? Uh, yeah, the only way it moves is when politics is activated. Okay, cool, cool. Just wanted to make sure. All right. No action uh, thoughts? No, I guess not. Action, action face. Yeah, I mean, there's um, one rider and whatever, but. I will. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and pass. Nalu's passing. But Nalu, you're not scoring. <clears throat> Unfortunate for Nalu. I am building. 
Now we could have uh, put some ships over here in space uh, and over here in space uh, or over here in space and any of those would have worked. They chose to not. Oh, and green, I owe you one trade good, right? Yeah, I but so. I'm the neighbor. All right. Oh, he's going to steal from you. Okay. Yep. All the time. So I can spend it now. Do it. You sure? Uh, I will wait. <laughs> I'm gonna so Mahakta is Kabbalah trade good, uh, but Mahakta is willingly just spending it now. It's always a thing about these non-binding, like, oh, I owe you a trade good later, is that, like, what's oh, to stop you, this from you happening? Would give me, you will give it when I will want. <clears throat> uh, but I doubt you are gonna... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna spend it, and I'll see what I can owe you next round. No, spend it if you need it. Right. No, all right. And we're going to be able to score as soon as Mahakt finishes this build. Uh, let him finish the production. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice six resources. Get some of those mechs out. More of these Cruiser 2s. I've loved the way the Mahakt player is using the Cruiser 2s this game. It's been a great pickup. They're nice and cheap, not out of the way, especially with the low-tech game that we're having with the no-tech picked in round 3. Makes this a tasty round four card for possibly Mentak or uh, Kellerez. Although they're also pretty early in the order, and there's better things for them, maybe. Nalu also might really want tech for Gravity Drive. I feel like Kellerez would be very happy if tech just wasn't picked again. Because they're in the lead, they don't want to shake it up too much, don't want to give people access to too much movement. Such that they might actually be able to win slay, you know? Why? Oh, you can score now. Yeah, Green, you can do that. There we go. We're all done building from a hocked. Got a nice, lovely build. No mechs. All right. So, uh, no mechs. You're up first, I think. Or did you already go? Nalu. Uh, I cannot. I cannot score. Okay. Nalu does not score. Right. Took Imperial. Didn't get the point. Uh, and score. Didn't score an extra objective. Any secrets? Oh no! Mentax so sad that they have to spend some of their precious, precious trade goods. Scoring three. Keller is again score keeps them up front. Uh, Notably, uh, no. Keller is in the lead, and they haven't even scored a secret. It's crazy. Walk is a hell of a drug. I have a Macatar or X and three ships above it. Of course, Cabal managed to occupy the seat. That makes sense. Good secret for them to have drawn. They probably started the game with that. That's why they structured the uh, docks to just go straight down the middle. Let's see. You scored Mahawk? Yeah. Alright, then I will score uh make history. Nasroka did it. They scored make history. It was close. They almost didn't beat uh Mentak in this system and Mahawk almost went here. Alright. But they managed to appease Last Mahawk by sacrificing a destroyer. Last objective, five trade goods. Just spendies. We've had a couple days full of games of like uh Nice. I'm going to, before we go into the agenda phase, use my hero. We have a Nalu hero coming so out. Anyway, the draw. games the past couple days have had some crazy, crazy control objectives Whoa. coming out, making the life of the players um, very difficult. Sorry, so everybody... Nalu? Yes. Okay, cool. So everybody gives me a promissory note from your hand. C radium geometry coming out. Everyone is giving promissory note over to Nalu. We've got a lot of uh, two commodity trade agreements that could go over. There you go. This one's coming from Blue's hand. Okay. We've got one from Red, one from Blue. Yep. Sorry, one moment. Oh yeah, no, no rush. Just keep track of it. Okay. 
What else is everyone giving? We don't know. One would assume trade agreement. Although, right. yeah, Mentech doesn't need the trade agreement. But given that you have to spend five trade goods for this good. last thing, I feel like Cabal, uh, yeah. Keller is, and the rest of the gang all really want to hold on to this so that they can actually gain trade goods this round. I don't know that NRA really needs it. They seem rather flush with trade goods at the moment. It's not that many to eat. I think on to the... Okay, you're talking to... I guess they were saving it in case they got knocked out of one of these anomalies. So we're at the start of the agenda phase. Yep. All right, so, so I'm going to maul worlds to just take myself out of everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> and go find the technology. <laughs> Everyone's got to finish applying their tokens. You going straight for War Sons? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I could do with that, especially with these spin things keep coming up. That's true. So spin spins. objectives make War Sons very difficult. Okay, well, should we start voting? Yeah, I'm fine if y'all don't want to wait on me. All right. Agenda. It is. Conventions of war. Conventions of war. Player cannot use bombardment against units that are on cultural planets against each player that voted against this card. would be a third law in play once again. We have a win chance for victors. it. Gray win. No, I'm good. Blue win. Uh, no. Come on. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and put my Polaris Rider on us not all losing our action cards. That's an after. So the four. four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it's only people who voted against. It's not everyone, but... Yeah. Purple is using is true. Mander. It could even be uh, everybody abstains there's zero it's zero to zero and then the speaker can break the tie against if they really want to avoid a law in play no. that way no one has to lose all their action cards no wins uh, after but i'm pretty sure some players have very few action cards all right it's green. only two over here in green's hand only two over here in blue's hand only two over in purple's hand how would you like to vote oh um i abstain okay great I'll abstain I suppose if anyone has so many as one want to pay me has the secret, they can just put one vote for, then someone would have to lose their action cards to stop it. Um, so Nalu and Claris doesn't want anything for it. I mean, I don't yeah, mind uh, discarding all my action cards. I'd rather not be three laws in play, but I'm not gonna pay for that. I mean, I'll give you a single trade good to go the other way, but I don't think it's worth much more than that to me. I mean, if the speaker just uh, picks against, then I guess it doesn't vote. So it's true. Denied if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, yeah, and if I vote, yeah, I read it wrong. Just abstaining. Okay, I will choose four then. Ooh. Okay. And it is gone for oh, so the Killerist Rider goes players. off. And I'll take one of goods. Third law in play? Yeah. I'll take it directly from the pot. Does anyone have third law? All right, sounds good. Cool. All right, agenda. Fix agenda. Oh, uh, yeah, before we do that, uh, Blue, you do need to do your tokens. Hmm? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you so got to apply them. Oh, cool. I'm so excited, actually. Very reasonable. One three one. How's everyone else doing on tokens? Mahawk's not really running out. Nalu's pretty happy. That the base three three two. Mentak, of course, flush with him. The ball running a little low, but they have Megathor. this card. Doing okay right there. And we have Minister of Industry. This is our like fourth minister that we've seen this game. Yeah, that would have been cooler. Minister. At the start of the game. I hardly know her. Uh, wins and afters. Except we know her very well because there have been no infinite ministers. Nope. Blue, purple. Yeah. Oh wait. Um, 
Sorry, does anyone want the rider for this? Um, obviously, you have to choose a player, but it's not a very exciting one anyway. So. I mean, I don't mind, but I don't have anything to pay with right now. Um. Yeah, I mean, we would. I guess we'd You'll try to find ways to split it, right? It. Just mm -hmm. be subtracted. Um. Sorry, who's this purple? Um. Are you uh, adjacent yeah. to Mentak? Um. We are sure. always in the agenda, so. Well, but no, I don't, uh, no, I don't have three yeah, trade goods. I don't have three trade goods. So we are adjacent, and but I need to have goods. three trade goods before it matters, and I don't. So, okay, um, yeah, I'm good. Splitting after. Can I take like your trade agreement as collateral? Uh, it's worth about the same. <laughs> about the same. Yeah. Uh, if trade you goods. pay me, if you pay me one. It's... This is expert Kellera's rider. I guess then you'll peddling. lose one from him. Uh, We're not neighbors. You're not neighbors. Oh, then you just pay me one trade good and you'll get my trade agreement. Okay. Fine by me. And then, assuming this goes well, then we'll swap it all back. If it doesn't, we'll swap back where we were. Yeah, yeah, sure. Cool. Anyway, I don't have any afters. Does the Kellera's rider end up? Okay, I also do not have wins or afters. All right, Green, how would you like to vote? Wait, uh, so Purple, oh. are you playing it or? I'm playing it. What are the It's an after, right? How are you predicting? Uh, let's see, let's see. I'd be bold for Purple to predict themselves. I guess I am pretty. Red. Red has been predicted. That makes sense. Predicting the speaker seems pretty likely. We do get the honest say. But we start with green. To vote. Mm, does anyone want to buy my votes? <laughs> you in the if, beginning, you suck. If not, <laughs> I'm. If not, I'm just going to vote on blue. All of my votes. Okay. So eleven votes on blue. Green given blue a bone. Gray. Um. Well, I guess same question. Anyone want to buy my votes for? I don't know what, like a dollar I mean, or two. Uh, red is rich. Yeah, I'd buy it. is rich. It's another good reason. Or the fact that you're getting the trade goods on the rider. Yeah. Then am I um, going to get rich? I'll do it for a dollar then, since I'm also going to get those. Okay. All right. So I'll throw a 13 on red. I sent you a dollar. Uh, and that locks it in, I believe, for red. Yeah, because it would be... No, it's 21 to 22. They need a yellow's okay. buy-in. Um, blue, I can still help you win. Or I can not help blue win this one. So I don't know if there's any offer on the table, but... I... Uh, I put it in your spot right there, that guy. Oh, I thought I already had four. I, I I I don't. I I moved one over. I got nothing for this really. <laughs> yeah, red definitely did lose their trade good. It is interesting. They need yellow's buy-in. What does yellow want to do? I'll just abstain. I mean, there's no reason for me to vote here. Yellow abstains, so red gets it. Like Keller is rider goes off, and everyone rejoices. Um, it goes to red. Because the yeah, factions that are winning all yeah. get all the benefits. Oh, well, I guess except for Cabal. Yeah. Yay. Hard to say that Mentex yeah, really I winning, but when I got the Calarius Rider, I think I got dealt and drew an action card, so I'm putting the last action card back in my hand to put a shuffle. Did that real quick. I'll shuffle it. Good call. And now we're on to the strategy phase for round four. 
where maybe this one will be faster. It's just more spendies. Right, cool. So purple. Not very much to uh, do. Everyone will be able to score this one this round. Your trade goods. It's the third round since it came up. Or was it? Did I give you one earlier? Sorry, I'm totally forgetting everything now. No, no, no. It's right. fine. It's cool. the one I, I think. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one you paid me for the trade agreement. Okay, perfect. So what does Mentak want? Does Mentak take the Imperial here? Do they take Action. politics so that they're second in speaker order? What is the play? Got a lot of good options. They could take... No, nah, they don't need to take trade. Trade is not one of the options they have. Well, it is. I don't know. It just doesn't seem very good. Spending eight influence. They've already done... They need three structures. How many structures do they have right now? One, two. Yeah, so they just need to make sure that construction is picked. Nalu also needs to make sure that construction is picked. All right. Red is red up for strategy. Yeah, I am up for strategy. All right. Uh, so I get my money at the start. If you want to grab one off those, Mentec could probably double score here. Right? Yep. They spend five. Yeah. I feel like Red should just pick Imperial. Double score publics. Get ahead of tempo. Look forward to scoring the two pointer. Yep, it is indeed a Claris game. In fact, it's the first non Mentac Claris of the, of the uh, tournament. We have an Argent Claris. Of course, the reason they were that is because Mentac's already in the game over here, but. They've been playing well. In fact, they're in the lead right now. Block green. Not point-wise, but they do have guac, which no one else has. Imperial is just good for you, Mentech. You think I need? It's got lots of vitamins and minerals that you need. I think that makes sense. I mean, I would gladly help. Yeah, there have been very, very few control objectives. There's only one player left in Nalu to score, make history, and then after that, it's basically all spendies. Secret. Oh yeah, big walk right here. If it was actually Argent, there would be some like rhyming thing you could do with like squawk for guac or something. I don't know. But they're not actually the birds. They're like fake birds that are actually just humans instead. And they're also not pretending to be birds in any way. I guess they're not all humans. They're kind of everyone. The person on the papers are human. Got a little Imperial, of course, a politics pick to give round five speaker control to the Cabal and not to the Mentac. So now we're on to the Kellerys. What is their play here? How do they set themselves up best for round five? Oh, wait. I feel like one of their goals is to acquire Crucible. Sorry, I'll take oh. the one trade good back. Yeah, go for it. Not bad. No worries. Uh, I feel like they'd like to have a lot of money. Possibly technology to double tech here would be valuable. Um, yeah, I'll take tech. Uh, yeah, that does look like that's their decision in the end. Nalu might be the one yeah, taking construction. Just let y'all you know, I got a prefab as my Mall of Worlds. Oh, my prefab Arcologies comes out, and we got a leadership for Nazroka. That's leadership. very good for them. They were mine as well. Desperate for tokens right now. So if you attack me, I get to defend it. Man, I want that speaker. <laughs> Get the trash all the time. Oh, speaker's gone, Mahawk. Speaker's speaker's long, long gone. Feels like a. I mean, it could just be a construction angle, honestly, because you got one, two, three structures. If you take construction, Trade. then you can build on. Atlas and Mayharzul, then you satisfy the five structures thing. So much. And he's five structures on different planets. Time. Could be funny if he gets a game without Mira computing. Yeah, I mean, he'll take any trade goods he can get. Yeah. Oh, man. Trade seems okay. You could even just take trade and, like, hardly trade with anyone. Just take trade and do a little swappy with Nazaroka. Call it there. Man. Wonderful options here. Uh, I mean, it's construction, <laughs> Nalu. It's construction for Nalu. I mean, you you got my assuredly right. It's like a diplo now. Three structures yeah, does yeah, a. I got that. Um, I I'm. Construction will get you to three structures. Yeah, construction will get you that objective. Oh, of course, all the other players with only. Yeah, I think that's probably. I mean, 
I think that's probably what I'm going to go for. I'm just thinking for a second. All the other players sitting at two structures that were counting on someone else to take construction are like, well, of course, of course, you should take construction, but not me. Of course, you should do it for me, but not for me. It's for you. You just don't know that it's actually for me. And at long last, we have the round the way it was meant to be with diplomacy and warfare sitting unpicked. Where are the Nalu off to? Yeah, yeah. They could just slam construction right now. Just take it, fucking, bam, slam it. I'm gonna go ahead and crack construction. There you go. Uh, make sure you spend your trade goods this time. <laughs> I'm going to. Some people who want to space dock in a particularly greedy spot might be locked down here. Build. This round could be really fast. Like a lot of the objectives, like the fact that there's like trade goods and aid influence, like three of industry. A lot of these are just like already settled. It could just be realistically for Nalu. Play construction, pass. Save everything for round five. Could also be play construction, build a bunch of stuff. That's probably actually what it is. Play construction. Do a big build. Finish. Cabal for the win. Cabal, they're looking pretty good. They got round five speaker. They've got control of their entire slice and Mechatol Rex. Cabal is a uh, definitely a front runner here. They're probably looking at Imperial round five. Can they win action phase round five? They got one secret scored. They got to score another secret. I'll take them to six. They got to score a one pointer. That'll take them to seven. And then round five, yeah, they score Imperial, a public. Oh, no, that would need another public on the other thing. So, yeah, mostly good. I was talking about secondary on oh, yeah. uh, construction. Any more? Cabal can only score two more publics. Stage ones. Yeah. Okay, so they would need to score the two-pointer if they wanted to take Imperial, unless they were okay with winning on the eight, which isn't great, despite the fact that it runs. Have a little gander down the railgun. Okay. Might as well. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play leadership. Yeah, another similar thing. I guess they are low, low, low on strategy tokens. They need some of those if they want to follow like tech and imperial and... They didn't follow construction again. Nazaroka long ago gave up on the structure objective. Very valid tactic. They have plenty of other things they can score given that they're far behind. Or given that they're one behind in tempo. Bull check. Like if I play my hero and get a bunch of extra ships, do they just blow stuff up immediately? I guess so. All right. Uh, I can answer this actually. The fleet pool isn't checked until the end of combat. Ooh. So... Uh, and your thing is used during combat, so they'll actually like fight there during that combat, and then at the end of combat, if you have too many, then they'll disappear. Okay, right. thank you. It's true. That's like the one time that things can happen significantly while you're over fleet capacity is during combat. Additionally, you can be over like just normal capacity stuff during combat via stuff like the Yin uh, agent. I couldn't Sorry. spend uh, because you hadn't moved yet, so I couldn't. Spend it's not true. Any couldn't use my eighteen for you. That's I I didn't pick one you could really used anyway, so it's okay. It's what what I needed. Should I verify this in the Discord? I'm gonna verify this in the okay. Discord. I'll see if I can yeah. pay you somehow. Mm -hmm. Just because it is a little bit of a trick. Is everybody good with leadership now? Yeah. I can just put this list for you. Do do. The capacity killer is.
Or you can go over a small unit capacity. What? What? Interesting. Do you agree? Could we I make some kind of deal? Mm, we I mean, we I could can. move them I, away for you. To be honest, I just need the trade goods, so uh, I, I don't. You, have to you're not them. getting the trade goods from this one. It's gonna be exhausted. But if you wait, I could give you. Oh. Something. I think when he takes it, he takes. Oh it. no, you are right. Uh, it, it, sure. The, the, the attachment comes in. Yeah, it, it is at, at any time. Thank you very much. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I saw that exact rule right before you posted it. So yep, you are right. To trade goods. If you pay me that, I'm okay to not... So it's, it's true for capacity of units like fighters, but it's not true for fleet. Um, okay. You can have my... Um, could you pay me one trade good and you'll get my trade agreement? Mm. I mean, I'm going to pub trade, so... Yeah, but you owe me one, so just give me the trade agreement. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Here you go, sir. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, taking back my token. That's good to know. It's one away. So I pop priority. This is why I don't normally intervene in the rules, is because I don't actually yeah. uh, know them perfectly. Okay. Uh, the first thing is the speaker. Oh, finally an array with tokens. Taking the two actions. Card. Oh, they're great times to learn. Yes. It's funny how like you can play like 50, 100, 200, whatever, however many games of Twilight Imperium. I've probably played between 50 and 100 the... games of Twilight Imperium. And just every time I play, there's like new rules that come up that I didn't know before. My scepter. I'm going to as well. I knew the capacity one because the capacity one had come up for me. I didn't realize it didn't apply to fleet pool. So thank you very much. Okay. There's a really fun uh, one I saw on a stream last year involving Necrovirus and Mentak, where uh, the Mentak hero does not allow you to build infantry that fight in space when against the Necro flagship. So that's a really weird interaction. That's a thing, I guess. Oh man, if Mentek was actually closer to Mechatol Rex, they could maybe fight Cabal using their hero, but it doesn't look like they quite have the means to get there. Right, because the infantry is not a ship. That's exactly right. So I believe this says um, each other player's ship that's destroyed during the combat, and then the Necrovirus... Yeah, the Necrovirus virus uses ground forces in space, but they're not counted as ships. Like, there's sometimes where it's, like, as if it were a ship. Like, the SAR space dock moves as if it were a ship, um, but the Necrovirus does not say that the infantry become ships. They're still ground forces, despite the fact that they're fighting in space. Right. Gonna... And you also gain uh, two trade goods. It's so weird, and if you ever see the Mentak use their hero against the Necrovirus flagship, that's such a specific situation, but... Yeah, this Mentak player loves their cruisers, but they do not love their cruiser twos. You know what they do love, though, is their mirror computing? Yeah, there it is. Oh, the two for one. Why do you get mirror computing? I'm sending my agent on you, White, so this one goes away. Oh, Green, did you get a trade good? Yeah, just considering why. Cool. Who gave who gave me the trade goods? The sad thing for Mentech is that that does not help with negotiate trade routes. They still have to spend five trade goods. So uh, Richard, yeah. I'm not attacking me. It was two trade goods, right? Okay, but do you give me? This is not double the value of their trade goods. It doubles oh, yeah, yeah, what the I'm trade goods are back. worth. So, for instance, <laughs> sway the council now costs them four trade goods. Okay, That's but this still costs them five. Thing. I was a bit too quick. But I think. Uh... If I use it, your trade agreement, it's... That was well played, actually. The leadership coming out before um, uh, tech came out so that Mentech yeah, couldn't spend double value trade goods. Lateral, so... Mm. Well, now you're being but you, you have a trade, so... I don't feel... It's going Whoa, to be the same that wasn't for a deal, you, Green. just... 
So I, I didn't understand it. So I, I gave you the trade agreement as collateral because you couldn't be, it was a non binding. Okay, deal what about I, two trade goods. I give you, you give me now two trade goods and I give you. I just my did. Trade I just agreement. did. I used this one. Yeah. But I, I, I was thinking that I'm not taking the malice and you are giving me trade agreement to pay those two trade goods from that planet. From the extra Oh, so you want five you for you. the... No, uh, I wanted three. And now you are giving me two and I have you trade agreement. And okay, so I keep these now two. I have five. No, yeah, yeah, just keep it. Yeah, because that's... I would just, use, I would just use your trade agreement when you pop trade. And I, okay. I will be satisfied. Yeah, okay, okay. That's fine. Okay, they figured it out. There was a little bit of a reneging on deals and yeah. funky yeah. things going on. But it was a misunderstanding. Misunder a diplomatic conclusion, as most things except for exactly three have come to in this game. Once here, once here, and once here. And once here. These players are very, very kind. We're going to boat float our way all the way to the top, and the Betrayal Act will be just in round five. Very vanilla, very delicious Twilight Imperium. I'm still looking. It's yeah. the way I play, too. Building. I don't think it's the best way to play, but it like it works. And also, some people just happen to fall off the bus along the way. Like, NRA doesn't really have a good shot of winning in round five. Uh, and that's unfortunate. But you're hoping that if you're one of like the three or four players who do, that's better odds than one in six. Not bad. Oop. I mean... The classic. Ugh, I hate that. Yeah. I don't know. My creek. <laughs> I do this all the time. If you click spread instead of search in Tabletop Simulator, it does this to your uh, tech tree. And then they wiggle around a little bit. <laughs> Classic. They got it all gathered up. There we go. We'll carry your two for Nazaroka. All right, they can be on the move now. Let's do a little tech update. So we didn't do that after tech came out. Do do do. Whole oh okay. Little update. Full race. They do not have every single technology in the game. They just accidentally hit spread. <laughs> Mentor got their mirror computing. Nalu got anti mass deflectors. Okay, so that they can get two anomalies. That makes sense. Mahak got gravity drive at long last. And Kellerez got dark energy tap and dreadnought too. That makes sense. They have a couple dark energies to tap over here. Could help them find more secrets. Might also just help them get money. Seems pretty good. Lots of whispers. What? I was wondering why it was so quiet. I figured it out. It's the whispers. Red and green have been whispering all game. And yet they didn't support swap. They've just been whispering all game. It's going to turn out that they were like secretly lovers the whole time. They're going to like break the support swaps. Can I show the extended UI? You mean this one? Yes. It is round four. So extended UI becomes very useful at this point. Okay. Yeah, no problem. There's a lot of laws out uh, in play. It's good to see which secrets have been scored. I am going to actually green. Hold on. Hmm? Before we make that deal, because I'm giving you promise of protection, I can't actually do that. So I'd rather just do two trade goods. Mm, I, but it's, I can't. It is. It is an action. I have to play it first. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then let's do that. Three, and I'll pillage one back. Oh, hey. Thank you, KHI Synthus. Red frag. Synthus. Probably. Thank you very much for the follow. And I will draw a action card. 
feel like I should just be more confident and just go for it when I say names. They don't only end well. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop <laughs> Imperial. So it sounds like green and red worked out some kind of deal for Promise of Protection. It's, it's an order this Possibly time. mostly just for the stall for Cabal. We'll score the spin. And then Imperial's coming out. I don't think... They are correctly spending all five trade goods. That's good. Does anyone have three secrets already? No, I don't think we have to. Oh, no, we don't. It's the only... It's just... nope, this should put everyone up to three it secrets. Doesn't matter. Actually, I'm going to do... I'm going to score the improved infrastructure. That is the better one to score, on Zach. Very smart. So it doesn't matter. We're good. We're good to draw. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Thank Just you, Jake. Fuck. And I'm going to draw a secret objective. Now everyone's finally up to three uh, secrets. Is me, right? They know whether they're alive or doomed in round five. Right, right. And you know who doesn't know? Okay. We or also any of the other yeah, players at the table. Grab your action. But yeah, the stage is set. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use Imperial's Arm Vault to gain another action card. Oh man, Mentak with the Imperial and the Imperial Arms Vault in one turn. What a move. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to activate this and move one fight over. Fight. Nalu at long last. Here. <laughs> Nalu has explored four, four frontier tokens and has gotten four of these <laughs> new cards from the frontier deck. You landed. Bummer. <laughs> There was two trade goods, three trade goods, one trade good, one trade good. And really, so at this point, yeah, at this point, Nalu has gotten three trade goods from this, and Mentak has gotten no. four trade goods from it. Or Mentak. Oh, no. Mentak can't pillage it. Already... Okay, so Nalu does come out on top wow. just barely, having acquired four trade goods from it to Mentak's three. That's awesome. Nice little break, so I can go get a lunch. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. And also water. Actually, I still have a glass of water right here. Do you like the little right, breaks? Paris, I, I gotta eventually start expanding, so... Oh, I'm uh -oh. the same thing, and we could meet in the middle and not do that, but... <laughs> <laughs> i mean you've uh, left a couple planets wide open i've been very I, nice to that i know i know uh oh man is he gonna take one of the structures from calaris it's and you you can see my game you know it's i've got to do something i'm i'm locked here you're right those planets are open but the planets are open. Need new stuff so all right well I feel like I've been very generous leaving you, Quan, but what can I offer you to get you to stay away? A way ceasefire? Um, I don't. I think Nasroka should just do this. Five well, trade goods, right? That's probably Nasroka wants a chance of winning. He's got to kneecap Calarius by coming for a structure. I just can only score one at a time. Um. Claire's does have the trade goods as a backup, but Claire's really wants to score the structure this round. Right. As such, Nasroka should just take the structure. Uh, I, I am going to uh, make a different choice for right now, and, and hopefully something comes around on the next level here. I am going to move some stuff there, though. Um, I'm going to finally move this carrier out of the asteroid field over to here. Uh, I got carrier too, so that's fine. I want to get this out of that rift. So, what's uh, what's the easiest way to roll for that rift? You can right-click the rift. Oh. The flagship's coming out of the rift. Here's the roll. Does the flagship live the rift? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um. 
Oh, and I guess I should have said it, but that was all I was going to move. Um, that is a uh, lucky flagship. And... It barely survived the Bentak fight. It had to sustain damage, didn't get direct hit. Uh, going to... spent the wrong one earlier that's fine uh i'm gonna explore uh use my agent i'm gonna explore um similar whoa dyson sphere cool. did that go okay. to the wrong place i, no, I went to similar I, that's the one i meant to click was oh, okay. similar yeah and because similar is now a uh five four planet if it's thick uh, uh, after I explore a planet I can ready it so I'm going to ready that back up there we go prefab arcology is coming online does it help Nazaroka now yeah and gives him a lot of stuff I guess I mean I like I love prefab a lot it's my favorite way to play Nazaroka and I love it early so protection but I think the more games I watch, the more I like this Synecdoche New Albion Slice. The downside is that you got to be prepared to pay the anti-mass tax. That's it. That's the downside. Okay, I guess I'm going to pop it. Why am Are I, you am I old 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 old? Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to pop it. Yeah. There's a trade agreement. What can Mahak score this round? Mahawks can score 8 influence or 5 trade goods, so they're looking to try to get a 5th trade good. Are they adjacent to Mentak right now? And yellow X-1, uh, obviously. Yes, they are. Yet, but... um, Were they? We... Oh, wait, hold on. I mean... Did you miss anything crazy in the last 2 hours? Uh, We had exactly 3 fights involving all 6 players in different orientations. One then. Uh, Cabal yeah. came in, oh, ate Mechatorex and scored, yeah. took that from Nalu before Nalu could get the Imperial point off of it. Right. Then we had Mahakt come in and take Malice off of Kellerus. Yeah. And then, after uh, that, we had... Also, by the way, the players right now are just discussing trade negotiations, it's just X minus ones and stuff. Red, I'm uh, not giving you So it doesn't sound like too much. Uh -huh. And then finally, there was a fight with uh, the Nasroka flagship against some Mentak ships in this gravity rift. Are we not and the flagship barely survived. Yeah. And then it came out of the rift and it also survived that. Right now. It's pretty lucky. Uh, there was a little bit of extorting. Give me a token. Well, Mentak extorted Nasroka a little bit, Nasroka okay. extorted Keller is a bit. But no, it's been a pretty friendly game, honestly. And white. Oh, green's got promise of protection. Yeah, yep. but he doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, sure. Um, no, I think I'm good. Okay, blue. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay, I'll just take blind. a token. Mm. For right now. Yeah, and we're not washing. Okay, I use my agent on. On white. <laughs> yeah, white. Oh, I didn't refresh. Oh, sorry. So on blue. Uh, what's your uh, agent do? Water carrier. I mean, I guess uh, if you wanted, you could have done it when I refreshed at the start in the round, if you'd like. Uh, no, it's too late, I think. Uh, but I use my agent on blue, so uh, his trade goods are. Oh, his commodities okay. are converted. Ball agent coming in. Right. Um, I'm gonna formalize our barriers a little bit. Just put some right here <laughs> and explore. Enigmatic device, more tech for Kellers, if they want it. But more importantly, a stall for Kellers. Did you refresh uh, yellow? I don't think uh, refresh, did yeah. yellow was refresh? No, I because it didn't refresh. get. Uh, no, he didn't want. He said he was good. Okay. Yellow did not want to X minus one with Mahak. Interesting. Well, no one followed. I guess Mentak gets too much value from it. With the Cabal agent, does Mentak get to pillage that thing? Uh, it doesn't work. So. No. No, it doesn't. We, okay. Yep. So first has been used on me, so <laughs> first it mattered. Oh yeah, Cabal so cool. They've done they've made a nice pillar of power right here. I love doing this overview like this. 
But yeah, it was a sick move. They stalled and waited for Nalu to go to take Mechator Rex. And then they moved in and crushed him. Although, honestly, this isn't as much as it looks like because it's only two fighters. Cabal's also had a good tournament. I believe there's two Cabal wins so far. Here comes Mentak reinforcing this beta wormhole with more uh, cruisers. <laughs> well, Hawk's suggesting that maybe they just now, now around four after Mentak's gotten plenty of time to build up a ton of ships, now they just eat red so then no one else has to get pillaged ever again I'm gonna send a single fire there, explore that for now Oof. <laughs> This has been the most rotten luck for uh, Nalu's explorations I with those DTs no, I haven't. That's true. Any big fight with the flagship, such as the one on Mechator Rex, where I believe he ended up acquiring a handful of cruisers and um, uh, let's put it on beta so it's at least seems like acquired some number of cruisers and like six or eight fighters or something ridiculous, which isn't actually that much value in uh terms of units. I think also a dreadnought. Can't remember. No, it was it was a uh, Nalu, so definitely there was not a dreadnought involved in that fight. Just a couple of cruisers and a bunch of fighters. Nalu's not exactly the best faction to fight if you're looking for raw value from your fights as Cabal. I wonder what the odds are Cabal just goes and eats all these cruisers from B. Well, munch, munch, munch. Oh, blue's not here. No blue. Oh. No blue. Blue is here. Right, that got back to me way faster than I thought it would. No, no problem. Yeah, this round's going nice and fast. It's just spendies. You gotta spend. Gives you less actions to do. You have to move around less. You gotta make less deals in terms of uh, planet swapping and whatnot. But... Well, I do actually feel like with how much has ended up here, I need to protect this. <laughs> Blue goes ahead, moves out. You do get to explore again. Oh no, he doesn't have scan link. He does not get to explore again. Oh man, when you can get prefab and scan link, oh my goodness. What a game Nas Roka that ends up being. You can like Starpoint New Albion is like the perfect system for that because you got the green skip to help you get there. And then you got this red planet. You really love to re explore red planets with a mech on it. And back to Cabal's turn. Are they hungry? Or are they just going to sit? They don't have very many tokens left. Uh, Might just be a pass here. Why are you unable with my rest? I don't Sorry? Think so. Mm, the Metag is not an, not your neighbor, right? Nope. So we can wash each other. Um, I don't really need to wash because I've got my agent. It's true. Um. Okay. Oh, sorry, who is? Oh, this is uh, green. Green, green is talking. Yeah. Um. Do, 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 do. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't really help me any. Um. You could watch an exchange for Crucible Killers. Um, but it helps me. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> Killers should really set up with the Crucible. I think uh, that would help them a lot okay. in round five. Yeah, I I just worry about giving you too much of a fleet that then goes right through to me. Um, I, I cannot produce anymore, so I, it won't be more of it, but we have a support swap, so you are sure to add that I do not 
I want to be going for your slice. Think about Crucible Killers. What? Killers in round one used the Crucible in order to claim Custodians off of Mechatorex. Because uh, you'll notice Crucible gives you a bonus movement from the Grav Rift. Grav Rift gives you a, a movement as well. So in Gravity's Blindside with Crucible, you can get to Mechatorex with a one movement ship from your home system. All right. All right. I don't have it. So who? Mahakt? Uh, yellow has it. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, All right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Do you need the money right now? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe otherwise. Uh. Right. Are you going to wash me? Just in the. I don't have commodities. Uh, you don't need. You can wash with free goods. You can just make a two trade goods for two trade goods, and I'm washed. Would you use a trade good kicker to net, net me something in return? Mm, I'm not going to give you anything. Just <laughs> a kind, kind proposal. No, sorry. Do it for Crucible Killers. Remember, remember your roots. Remember how you got to where you are. Mm. Maybe a production somewhere. Looks like no one's going to wash Cabal. I wonder what Cabal needs these two extra trade goods for right now. It's curious. I suppose two extra trade goods would put him up to nine trade goods, so then he would be able to play an action card that requires something specific. It's activating Mechator Rex. Interesting. So is he reinforcing that with a bunch of fighters? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes back into my slice and picks on um, infantry oh yeah there's some infantry and some fighters Are these carrier twos that cabal's got flying around they are in fact carrier twos my fighters mm. i think no. yes a cabal goes one two three four oh you can Very doable. Another fight. The bonus movement from a gravity rift only applies once, even if you go out of it twice. Man, look at all these gravity rifts adjacent to each other. So right now, green is going to win next round. And white, it seems. Also, red is pretty well in it. It's pretty well... It's pretty dependent on the... Uh... Mahogt is a bigger danger. Like I yeah. mean, I scored uh, most of my secrets. I mean, red and white, you've scored none. You have your commander and a lot of tokens. The stage yeah, but, 2 is but not I, a I, 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 I can't get the plastic out to compete against you guys. That's the issue. Really, no one's even going to give uh, Nasroka a pity vote to maybe win. And uh, the biggest <laughs> issue is you, you got that tempo with the speaker. I'm never getting that speaker. Never. The plastic is not an argument. You can have it in round six. The only one no, who has no, that's no, not going to no. happen. Plastic is it, me it, it, and red. It means Your I have to go don't at have you this, this so round. I have to do going to be easy. And I don't have enough. I just don't have enough. Even if I use trade, I still don't have enough. If it's going to be staged to uh, six tokens, probably, or something, another spendy, you're going to make it easy. It doesn't matter. I don't have the speaker. It won't matter if... The only thing I can do I, right now is make not... sure people prevent you from getting uh, the two-pointer or extra points, because you do have secrets. You could score more. Yeah. It's, a high it's a high chance I'm not going to make a stage to... Well, Object. Purple, if you if you soften up Mechatol, I'll take it. Yeah. Well, you got that Diplo you could use there. Then it would only be green. Yeah, I mean if you can soften up that fleet for me a little bit, I can I can get it this turn. Yeah. Oh they're gonna try to take Cabal off Mechatol. Do you only need the fleet soften? Um yeah, because I can, I'll, I'll be able to bring all my fighters to the ground, and I think I can park about seven more fighters there this turn. Okay, and what do I get in return besides uh, knocking, <laughs> knocking, knocking green down effect? Yeah, I mean, that's 
Their assessment does seem correct. The bottle is definitely in the best position to win because they can win action phase next round. Assuming that they don't have two. So let's assume that Cabal has one action phase and one status phase secret objective, right? Uh, what this means for Cabal scoring is that they score the status phase this round. I'm, I'm happy. That puts them up to six. Take a lot from they score a one point objective this round. It puts them up to seven. Next round, they have Imperial. So they score the Imperial point on Mechatol from holding Mechatol. You're gonna need a they use Imperial to score the other one point public objective. It puts them to nine. Where does the 10th point come? That would have to be an action phase secret, unless they want to win on the 8. So they are correct to say that uh, Cabal has the best chance to win. He's been sitting on some secrets for a while. Uh, but if they're both status phase, he's only winning on the 8, which is not that good. I'm very confident in that. Nalun Mahakt wrapping up uh, negotiations for... Looks like Mahak's going to go in first, weaken that, and then uh, Nalu's going to come in with a bunch of fighters and take the planet itself. Normally, Nalu, you have to make sure they're not going to win themselves, but Nalu is notably second to last in speaker order for round five and also behind in scoring tempo and aren't too much of a threat. Nalu could score one, two from secret objectives. I spend my trip. And then. Uh, one, two, three from a two point objective and a one point objective. And that would still only be nine points. So without Imperial or some crazy agenda phase guac, Nalu can't win next round. So they would be A OK -OK custodians of Megatol. What are the paths? Mahakt was discussed as possibly being in the lead. They do have a very nice token situation. Do they? They don't have a nice token situation. They have six total tokens that they could move around. Because uh, they could uh, predictive intelligence two of these fleet tokens somewhere else. Um, Mahak sitting over here. They have two secret scores, so they can score one more. That puts them up to seven. That can be a status phase or an action phase or something at any point. Additionally, they can score a one-pointer, and then they would have to score the two-pointer. Uh, but also, they're low in speaker order, so that would happen after a lot of other players would have their chance to win. If I'm not doing it, I'm so Mahak does have a path to 10. It's their secret, the two-pointer, and a one-pointer. Uh, it's four points. This is also assuming no crazy agenda phase guac. You, you want my two commodities for not attacking the Mekata? I'll wash them. You, you'll you get... I'll take one and you'll get one. Alright, so he's offering to split wash Cabal's commodities in exchange for not attacking Mechatol. Well, it depends it's on... It's an interesting gambit. You gotta watch out for the Cabal win on the action phase next round. Kinda hard to stop it. Red, are you gonna pillage me? Yeah. Okay, then I need two. Cabal does have very few tokens, though. The answer. They might not be able to afford to take Imperial. Okay. <laughs> because if well, it's as a path. Keller is definitely as a path. Oh, well. So Keller is his path. Uh, they have oh, two so stage one secrets they can score. Right that's now, seven. Telling everyone about that. And three, uh, three secrets puts them straight to ten. Uh, but it's unlikely they have three action phases. It yeah, likely starts with a status though. phase secret being scored. I feel like a trade good, good maybe, depending on who, you're, who else you're planning to use it on. Uh, I'm gonna throw plague on Megatol. <clears throat> okay. There is five infantry. One, two, three, four, five. It's on a six, right? On a six. Yeah. Quick six. One, two, three, four, five. How many hits? Plague on Megatol. Two hits. Two. Below average, but it was either going to be below or above. Not bad. Interesting to use the stall now and not in round five. Let's see if I can get a better secret. Keller is claiming that he needs better secrets. A classic. Okay. He does not get better secret, but he does find his own ship Respect. and gets two command tokens for it, which is nice. He still has one more ship he can explore next to his home system. Or one more token he can explore right here. 
Everything else would require a little bit of a lightweight of shenanigans. This is a nice pocket of them. Done there, we are on to Mentax turn. People are definitely starting to get annoyed with all the pillaging Mentax on this game. There's one player saying Mentax just gonna blackmail all of us now. Right. Yes, it's, it's Mentax, yes. Um, discussion with White, potentially. Don't know what that was about. Oh, I've got another objective I can score. Oh, uh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, it would block me from that, but... Oh, is Keller is considering coming in to block the uh, structure objective? I am going to go ahead and pass, then. Mentak will pass, then. Makes sense. Uh, there's not a lot for many of these players to do this round. Let's just spend objectives, and they're not resources. So first is spend all your resources on ships. Second is pass, because there's not much else to do. There's a little bit of gumming done. So I'd be surprised what if you, what are you uh, Keller is didn't investigate this frontier token this round. The more whispering. Red, I think it's just red, actually. Red just loves the whispering. Produce in. That's a big whispery guy. Litrophor and Berig. More production here. Probably using Zoo. Yes, like indeed. To uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Debt being paid in round four? Crazy. Apparently, not owed. Cabal, one debt token, and with that, actually, I believe Cabal's collected all of their debts from round one. <laughs> it's been done at long last. Let's Big ol' build coming into Barrack Lyrda. Four more hybrid crystal fighters and some expensive hybrid crystal fighters that also don't move as far and also cost more fleet capacity. But also a bombardment, so. That was Roka. Appears to have some resources left for a build and a build prepared indeed. Wait. Will that be going on Starpoint New Albion or in Zero? Oh my goodness, purple and red going at it in the uh, the whispers. wonder if they're talking about slaying uh, Cabal. Those are both players that can do it. Cow. wonder if it uh, starts with a Mentak attack on this uh, supply line right here. Did Cabal already score the structures? Yes, they did. It helps you this round. <laughs> it's what you want. Uh oh, can y'all hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, indeed. Purple, you there? I'm the. Okay, sorry. There you are. Uh. Okay. Um. And here we go.
So we got about three hours left. So that's enough time for at least one more round. Maybe two more. Hopefully not. Good call. We're almost down to the three hour limit. Sitting with a lot of action cards. I mean, action, action. There are a lot of action cards in it. No, pur purple. You've been you've been good to me, but I just I don't think I can make that deal with you. Unfortunately, there we go. sorry. Down below three hours. Yeah. Build it home. Here comes a nice little Nazaroka build. Suiting up those dreadnoughts. Hopefully, technology is picked for him next round, and then that way he can uh, build dreadnought twos. Um, and I don't think it matters, but you got to place your infantry on the planet with the. Oh, sorry. You're, yeah, no, I, I know that. Sorry, just pushing it. Um, so now purple is starting to talk to blue about what. Now it's probably about that deal that he couldn't follow through on. Don't know what the deal was about. Oh, we heard it was a cryptic. Uh, no, sorry, I cannot do that for you. <laughs> glad, glad, glad I'm not the only one who made that mistake today. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> maybe not but I, I a little look into the the lives of the players i feel like it may just be given away there so um there are only three factions for the path to winning next round my turn and that is an imperial cabal and keller is and mocked Did I check Mentac? What does Mentac have for next round? So Mentac is sitting... Wait, Mentac's doing really well. Oh yeah, Mentac's ahead and scoring... Oh yeah, Mentac definitely can win next round too. Mentac uh, scores a public objective here. Puts him oh, up to six. They score three yeah. secrets, put that, puts him up to nine. They score the two-pointer. Puts him up to 11 even. Uh, but really, they just need to... They can not score one of their secrets if they would like. If they think all three of their secrets are scorable next round though, then they could do a little something funky and choose to not score five trade goods this round. And the reason they would do that is because if they do, then they get to save these trade goods for a possible spend objective next oh, round. Yeah, I, it's not really that useful for me. They are also last in speaker. I got like a bunch more interesting action cards. Oh, is that specifically blocking you? Ooh. Didn't even think about that. All right. I am so tired of you, Red. Oh. What? Purple's coming in. What am I doing? <laughs> you, you you won't do any deals, and you just want to steal. That's really <laughs> bad to play Mantec. Oh, How does this fight go? Wait, where are you coming? Uh, oh, you're going this way. I see. To the beta. What else is being brought? The Arvicon Rex. More cruisers, perhaps? Hold on, hold on. I'm not doing that yet. Bit too early. Come Oh, he's oh, unlocking his home system. Ah, so the cruisers can come help. Uh, keep fishing for secrets. Merchant station. Hey. Plenish commodities. Can't do that, so he just converts. All right. Uh, well, Green, do you want to wash real quick? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, if they wash real quick, then you are allowed to make a transaction before you resolve the exploration. Uh, when I use my commander, I don't know. Like, for instance, here? Okay. No, if you are no, using... The only the thing I do is remove it, right? just Yeah, ends. I thought so. Yep. Thank the you. question was, is Mahak allowed to build when they lift up a token? Because they do activate the system. Mm, I can't don't. afford it. I'm sorry. Right now, I can't score any points. Thanks to Red. 
thought I could broker some kind of deal, but I guess not. I mean, I, I know I'm ahead in point wise, but when it when it comes, um, Hawk is down exactly one trade good from scoring either of those objectives. I don't have the speaker, and I'm not. The two uh the two tra uh, objectives that Mahakt would be able to score are five spend five trade goods and spend eight influence. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and they have three influence left, <laughs> and four trade goods. Put them at seven influence or four trade goods, which is exactly one short. Very unfortunate for them. You know, they should be extorting is uh, either Nazaroka or Calaris. Mentak is not going to yield on these trade goods. Oh, and that's why he's so frustrated with Mentak. Uh, I just don't think I can win it without anybody soft softening it up. Predict a pass here from Nalu. Ready to use Zoo. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Malice. Now he goes to Malice. How much does Mahakt care? He has the Star Lancer mech. And Mahak does own the Nalu Commander. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm going to. I'm going to play a flank speed. That is true. This is the same timing window, so after it. A uh, player activates a system. Shit. Cut the flank speed so the matriarch can get into malice. It's like no star lancer. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I'm going to bring. So I'm dropping five fighters and three ground forces down to do ground combat. Might have to stack them up for it to roll for them. This is true. This should pretty easily clean up the, the planet. Here we go. Looks like purple and red are going at it. Whispers again. They're probably negotiating uh, over all this. <laughs> Trying to find a middle ground. I mean, after I like kind of extorted him, he suddenly wants to talk again. Oh. Uh, um. Yeah. I guess. I guess I'll just have to roll separately for my hybrid crystal fighters for ground combat. I'm sure it's not seeming to. Want to let me do that with with my matriarch, but I mean, it's not a big deal. All right, you ready, purple? Oh, they're still talking to Red. They're still talking. So much whispering. Red Red's been all up in the whispers. This might be the most whispers I've ever seen in a game. So thank you, Red Player. You have won the most whispers in a single game of TI award. Sounds like a Mentak thing, though. Uh, yeah, you're going. In Mentak feels like a. Yeah. Yeah, faction that should be involved in a lot of whispers. And my we also have not seen any heroes yet. I don't really know how this is going to work, but... Oof. 
those. I may as well get those ready. And it's actually still alive for another round of combat. There we go, he gets one hit. Hold on, uh, one of my infantry becomes a commodity. It's interesting that he didn't decide to use the Starlancer ability to save Malice. That's nice. Now Nalu is taking oh, right, now. control of it. Oh, I wish I had one. Looks like there was one hit. Did you take that yellow? Uh, I need to. Yeah. I will take that on the ground force. Goodbye, Mr. Infantry. And a commodity. I gained the commodity, yes. Okay. Uh. We're on to Blue's turn. Is Blue done? Blue's just about done. Yes. There's our second pass of the round. Let's get to round five. Come on, baby. So, Red, you could wash me and not steal from me. I can wash if I've already passed. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, and... It is true, you are allowed to make transactions even when you've already passed. Well. You're also allowed to follow strategy cards when, you have, or when you've already passed. Wait, what do you mean? You just don't get to do actions, yeah, basically. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I will pay that one to you since I owe you that one. Is it your turn right now? It's my turn, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I will pay my debts. There you go. There it is. The debt's been collected. Green. One trade good? Mm, one trade good for what? Mahart can score. Mahart is still in the game. All right. Yeah. At last, he's hit the threshold he needed. It looks like I've got a token from you. I don't remember from when, but... Uh, oh, oh, oh. I think I not gave still? it to you. I just forgot to take it away. Oh, yeah. Was that the agent use? I think so. Yeah, all right. Go for it. Looks like this is a score five trade goods angle rather than an influence angle because he's not going to be able to score the influence without his home system anyway. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, red, I'm a dickhead, so I'm gonna attack you anyways. Ah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> they worked out a deal. They did it. Let's see. Yellow, yeah, did you use it? Yellow, yeah, red, yellow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. And so Mahakta is able to collect the debts the without being pillaged. And everyone was happy, and the galaxy lived in peace forevermore. The end. There was no round five. Everyone just smiled as they all rode ponies off into the sunset. Oh, Even though I already said the end. It actually kept going. It was a prank. Should have spent that. What's Mahak's actual action? Other than uh, debt collecting? Building a home. Oh, yellow! You, you have that load on. I could really. You yeah, very much left. I'd probably just pass if I were them. They're gonna save these tokens for next round. Everyone is very uh, cavalierly yep. just okay. spending tokens. If them. someone gets their hands on leadership and can stall, yeah. like Keller is, uh, you've been nice. Uh, that could be pretty brutal. That's definitely, I feel like, the play if your Keller is here. It's just go for the leadership stall. And at least it feels like that's the play. Who knows what secrets they have. Yeah, it's still... it's forward. I'm um, just gonna. There's a light to build. Um, I'm gonna activate here. Um, do I want to move my flagship up? 
It's pretty good on defense. Probably just keep it. That flagship needs to threaten oh, Mechatol Rex. Well, it's going to be preciously low on tokens. Or precariously low I'm on tokens. I'm going to go ahead and activate. Well, That's raising that makes more sense. Move. Man, everyone's just spending the tokens now. I don't mind this. It just means that round five will be a little shorter, but... A lot of, like, almost haphazard spending right now, when you might need it later. Like, if Keller has decides to stall next round, oh, it's just it's just over for we'll have one the table. Space, which be good. I'm curious why Keller has all these fleet tokens. Do they plan on activating here, doing a bit of building, uh, and having a giant fleet up ahead? I am passing. Very curious. There's a pass from a hawk. That's three passes. Um, I think I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I pass. White passes. Very smart. They didn't end up scooching their stuff up. I... Makes sense. Did a build somewhere at some point. I'm going to use economic initiative to. Ready my cultural planets. Ooh. Here we are. Very spicy. I don't have many, but that's okay. Lodor has been ready. Now they're using all their stalls right now. Not the best. Dude, if there's a leadership stall, round five is going to take like 40 minutes. That's it. That's all it's going to take. Me? All right. I'm going to produce. And I'm just going to do a whole bunch of fighters, I think. Fighters, you're coming out. Are you passing after this? We can start scoring if... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to pass after this. And there we go. Round four is done. Let's see what's scoring. Do we need a score in order or... Yeah, do it in order. Okay. Who's, who's first? No, no. No, no one can win right now. It'll be round five. Yeah, so worth scoring in order. I'm I'm gonna score the um being two anomalies. So I'll get that. Yeah, master, everyone has made history. Still. I guess we can probably score it for you. Yeah, and I'm gonna score a secret half five dreadnoughts. Five dreadnoughts for Nalu. I'm gonna. Oh score. my goodness! One, two. B4. Influence. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm scoring eight influence. And discard five action cards. Spending five trade goods. And I'm discarding sanction, a collection, shield solding, harness energy, and direct hit. Ooh. Oh my goodness, a lot of bad action cards that Cabal got, but a great secret. Better than Rider Teeth. That was exactly it. Cabal now off to okay. a lovely I seven points. Boring. Negotiate. Trade routes. And I am scoring Strength and Bonds. Good objective. There we go. Cool. We got strength and bonds out for Mentech. Oh, did y'all skip? Going... Oh, sorry. I thought you already went. Oh, no worries. Um, I've got three structures. He's got three yeah, structures. That... No secrets. Maybe they are really bad. Mentech is seven. And then with that, so Mentech is one, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, seven. Seven. I think it's correct. Keller is lurking in the back very well. Well, let's see the stage two. That'll yeah. answer a lot of questions. Stage two, here it is. That's really what this is. There's a lot of hopes and dreams riding on this stage two. Don't Rule distantly. Control. Perfect. Control Perfect. Two Control two planets that are each in or adjacent to a different other player's home system. Hmm. 
Hmm. As I said, I'm a hacker out. <sighs> okay. Uh, I would deal action cards. Uh, real quick question. Does everyone uh, understand exactly what this stage two objective means? Because the wording is a little tricky. You need to control one planet adjacent to one player's home system and another player, another planet adjacent to a different player's home system. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. It cannot be two planets adjacent to the same player's home system. Does that make sense? Yeah, it can that also be a planet. Two, two planets next to two different players. That's correct. Two planets next to two different players. Or the home yeah. system. It's going to be a planet in a home Yikes. system. Too. Wow. Okay, That's does anyone, does anyone face political stability? Cool. That two-point objective causes questions, and I didn't want people to go into the round with the wrong impressions of how it worked. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, who can even score this? Because everyone swapped with their neighbor. Cabal. <laughs> Fiesta. All right. Uh, so returning status card or strategy cards. Any political stability? Doesn't look you like have it. Eight action cards. If I can't well. I need. Oh, I need I'm card. sorry. I have, eight, I have eight as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Keller has a chance of scoring yeah, that one. All right. Yep. Because yeah. they could take Sourdor, right? That's not. I'm gonna discard refit. That hard for them to own and control. Tokens. All right. Uh, but discard intercept. If you want to intercept. Getting something else. You can retreat. I'm going to do maneuvering. Their fleets are just so far back and they have no blue tech. It'll be a fun one. It's a tough objective for everyone, especially with the lack of blue tech on the board. Honestly, does Nas Rook have the best chance of scoring this? Take one here and take one like Thibba or <laughs> the Hawk does not have that many tokens to stall it out. Well, they're pretty good. Yeah, it's definitely Mahawk's favorite at this point. I was hoping it'd be Keller as favored. This was not a Keller. All right, uh, shall we vote? Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, who was, who did the cards? Um, oh, green. Were they two top, two bottom, or? Mm, both bottom. It's hoping we would either see Mentec. Uh, yeah, uh, how's what are Mentec's odds? Oh, they don't have moving capacity. Uh, yeah. Do they have a green skip somewhere? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, Mentec just did can't do And <laughs> all of tokens in action space. Oh, uh, they could no. maybe take tech. Uh -huh. Okay. And go like. So let's Psycho start, Arc uh, Cruiser 2. Uh, does anyone play Ancient Burial Sites? And then do something weird. No. So it's regulated conscription. Ending uh, commander. Yep. It's not nothing good. Burger agenda for Nothing Burger part of the game. I will be right back while they do some agenda phase. Okay, when's the afters? Um, anyone want to buy a promissory note? Sure. I can. Um, okay, cool. Can you give me the... We're in late game, so I don't feel great making it non-binding. Are you giving me the good giving me the two now? No. I don't have two. It's purple speaking. I Ooh. have my trade agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone with two trade goods want it? I can give you two after the agenda is resolved. <laughs> and I yeah, get them. Yeah. I don't know if we're early enough in the game for me to be okay with non-binding things. Yeah. Um. You just, you want two trade goods? So what is it? It gets you two trade, trade goods and an action card? Yeah. And if it doesn't go through, I'll give them back. I guess that goes to the same thing I said about non-binding late game. But... Um. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll make that deal. Then Blue will make that deal. All right, perfect. Cool. Um. Okay, and I have no wins. 
uh, I guess I have, is this a win or an after? I have an after, so no wins. And then I will play. Uh, I'll play the Calaris Rider. So I'm going to uh, play it on the against. Um, and then just to make sure I actually get something, I'm going to play a Technology Rider on the four. <laughs> nice. Get a hedge of bets. Uh, who threw the uh, tech rider? Uh, I threw both. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The voting starts from white. I don't particularly care. Um, I guess Nala, you care, but I'm way too early in the order for you to give me any money. Uh, I've got enough fighters. If I don't have enough fighters on the board already, then what have I done this whole game? Okay. Then uh, I will put one against. Try to get my two ducks. Boom. Uh, I guess I'm just abstaining. And I'm going to do... I'll do uh, two, four. Or two, two against, I'm sorry. I'll do two against. Just to make... It's taking that little little extra in there. Oh, pass. Well, I put three votes. <laughs> One, four. And I, a tie is going four. Four? Four. Yeah. Four. I win nice. a technology. Wow, five laws in play. It's pretty good. Now, juicy one. Okay, the next agenda. Somebody gets a victory point. Ooh. Ooh. Well, uh, <laughs> who wants to buy the rider for this? <laughs> I I have an after, so you can do multiple afters if okay. that's dissuading you from buying. But no, no, I, I'm um, I'm good. I don't do need to buy. Any it. wins? Blue? Any wins? Oh, sorry, sorry. I was getting my technology. I got a dread too. Nice. And spent AI for it. Nah, no wins for me. Any anybody playing any wins? Uh purple? Green. What is it? Give me that juicy promissory note. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and we're going around again. Any wins, anyone? Then, I'll... um, what's the rule on passing on the first one to play, not the second one? So, if you pass the first time, it goes to everyone again, so it's open again. Okay, I'm going to play. play a win this time. I'm going to play Purple's Political Secret so they can't vote on this. What? <laughs> so going back around the horn again. That sucks. Are, are we going around again? I do not have a win. I'm still none. I'm playing Red's political secret, so they can't vote on this. I like it. What's going on? 
I'll take that back. And now I'm out of wins. I don't have any afters. I have an after. I'm going to play my Imperial Rider on blue. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Fascinating. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, and uh, afters? Someone? All right. So voting time. Man. Well, I'd like it, but I don't think I can offer you all enough money to get this. So. I mean, the the, the problem is, is me winning it <laughs> good or bad? I, I kind of like green getting it because they're already choosing once. I was already choosing first. I don't like giving Imperial Rider for yellow. Um. White, what about I buy you votes? Um, I assume there's no way I can buy your votes, right? Mm. I guess I'd be stealing your first pick, so that would be tough. To be honest, <laughs> now every option sucks because the best option was blue. Did I hear every option sucks? Mm. Well, that's my line. You. You have so many options and all of them suck. Except actually in, during the agenda phase, you have less options. Are you going to win it? Um, now, part of the reason I did this, because I, I do think it's one of my only plays, you all could vote me. That is true. You put us into this mess. <laughs> I, I mean, I know, but I... I I now he doesn't have a path to victory. Hopefully, and I'm throwing. I'm just throwing that out there. So, you know, this is a brilliant use yeah. of the Imperial Arbiter. We are you be sure I won't use it because yeah. I have it. Okay. Does yeah. it only last for one round, or is it? It's forever. Forever, forever, ever. Yeah. Ooh, so, well, we, no, it's. So we still have a win, or what? All right. Yeah, Green. What do you give me, and I will vote for you. Oh no. Uh, I can only give you one trade, but. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, sorry. It might be a trade agreement. Hmm. Trade agreement and one trade good. But I think uh, I am the better, the best choice because uh, if you give it to me, uh, you will be sure I won't take the card you have because I have a speaker and I will just pick what I want. Yep. Uh, yeah, I sure. A trade good and a trade agreement, and I'll give you, uh, I guess, all the votes, all 12. Okay, that's fine. Well, I want to at least try to win something, so uh, I'm going to vote 15 on myself. Okay, I put eight on myself. Do you play deadly plot or confounding? Uh, yes, I... I do have confounding. Who? Oh, what? Wait, what? What's uh? It means I would win. Ooh, nice. Oh, uh, well. Hopefully, can, can there I... are no sabotages. Can I deadly plot it still? You can play it. Yeah. Yeah, I deadly plot it. Okay, so Ooh, all right. Okay. Do you play Sabo White? I do not. Okay, so nothing happens. Cool. All right, so the Imperial Arbiter went to. Uh, uh, I was really hoping all the sabotages were in the people, not the political riders or political. <laughs> Neat. Oh well. Okay. So uh, at the end there. I know we talked about taking a break. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, so do, we, do we want to draw strategy cards first and then take a break, or do you want to cut it off now? Yeah, let's speak this. I like I like draw strategy cards first. Yep. Break. Okay, so let's pick a strategy and a break next. Okay. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking about Imperial, but with this objective, trying to figure out who picks what. Maybe. 
but if I leave Imperial for you, you have a higher chance to win this. So. Oh my god, that sucks. It looks like yeah, this, <laughs> this is, round two uh, objective is. Yeah, but I I don't have a secret. Great. And I would, even even with Imperial, I'm going to lose in status phase because I have a worst. Uh, so we're gonna pick these strategy cards and then we're gonna go to a little ten minute break so the players can have some food, get their brains thinking. Time for round five. And these are pretty important decisions. So Cabal's path to victory relied on, well, it relies on either getting the two-pointer or getting Imperial and then scoring on the number. I don't pick Imperial. Uh, the white does. And, and there's no Imperial score thing. Five trade goods. White with Imperial is scary. It's left. Oh my god. But their secrets are bad. So. Which, mm -hmm. yeah. Then I take it home, but. You are going to How much time do the players have? Just under two and a half hours. Oh. It's going to be tough for you. Okay, if I pick I'm actually discording, oh, Discord messaging one of the players right now asking about uh, how the tiebreakers work. So there's at least one of these players playing for tiebreakers. Okay. <laughs> How much did white pay for Crucible in round one? I believe it was two trade goods. Yep, there it is. Uh, he paid two They'd love to do that again. And you know what they could have done? Is they could have done it last they round. Did to they did. <laughs> Mahak to score the mecha too. Leadership for Cabal? That makes sense. And then we're going to have a long round five because people are going to be able to spend the tokens. I'm hoping leadership goes to someone that can stall it out. Which is either Mahak or Calaris. Or maybe Mentak, but there's no way it gets to Mentak. There's no chance. <sighs> it is leadership for Cabal. All right. Well, that's first right. thing. Ugh. All right. Well, now you put me in the same position you had. Um... Does White pick Imperial? How does white do Imperial? So if, if I, I don't think Imperial actually helps white very much. Go. Imperial just gives him a bad number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably have a status phase secret that they got to score. So I think they just want diplomacy. Good politics. And then does blue end up with Imperial? That'd be nuts. And the funny thing about blue ending up with Imperial is that they're also best set up to actually score the stage two, I think. They're the only faction on the table with movement besides Cabal. Leadership picked by Cabal already, so that's going to be popped early. And then we're going to have this will be the last round of the game. It's going to go to tiebreakers after this. Okay. Yeah, I've got to take diplomacy. I don't think I can pull off Imperial. <laughs> yeah, absolutely correct by uh, Keller is right there. Feels like an Imperial slam for Nazroka. See, now you'll put me in a bind. My game's so bad, I can't even score one of the points <laughs> with Imperial, much less two. You can score the two pointer. Imperial's a big threat this round yeah. because of that stage two objective. I mean, it's like it's the, so easy to block if somebody's gunning. Well, it's a big threat if Mahak gets it. Yeah. Oh wait, so you need 
structures. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, structures. I'm out of trade goods right now. Yeah. Lots of size on the table. <laughs> oh, fine. Do it. Imperial for Nas Roca. I like it. Make a deal with Calarez right here. You're not a threat. Take that planet. Figure out how to get another one. I like it a lot. What are the targets for the stage two? You know, that is a great point. Like, it'd have to be Lyrdo, which he just, like, can't really do. I guess Mahawk could also try to go over here to Lazar Sakalag. Somehow, he's got both, uh, he's got anti-mass and gravity drive and both wormholes. So we can pop over here to, like, Thibba. Or hopes end. He can't get over here to this uh, nice juicy spot. It's not enough wormholes. There's no light wave deflectors either, which makes this very difficult. Last but not least to pick is Mentak. Probably either a warfare or a trade. A trade's just worth straight up like six to him because he's got mirror computing and it gives three. Oh my gosh, I got it. Oh, yellow and red making a deal with each other to do a little cursed swap. Is it blessed? I I would like that idea. Neither of these factions have won a game yet. I'd love to see something new. But if they do that, it might cause some weakness, which might enable Mahawk to get in there. Mix it all up. I'm excited to see what happens. But that does sound maybe all the all the support swap pairs should be figuring out how to do that. Pretty reasonable. Red's gotta pick their card and then we go to break. Looks like it I mean warfare is really good for red too. Especially for this uh, two horn objective that's out. I'm taking warfare. That's warfare right there. Okay. All right. Should we take a break? Yep. Ten yep. minute break. Ten minute break. Timer is paused. So top of the hour. Cool. Yep. Oh, Sounds good. All right, it's going. There we go. All right, we'll see you guys all in ten minutes.
All right, let's see here. We got video. We got audio. We got maybe the players. All right. We're at the top of the hour. Everybody here? I am. I think so. The stream is also good to go. And hey, this has been a great game, everyone. So, yeah. Thanks a lot, regardless of how. It really has been fantastic. Last round goes. I think I think it'll be the last. We go round five. Like right on the, the edge. Timer started. Of time wise. Well, we will see. All right, should we uh, kick it off then? Let's see here. Okay, start the timer. Yep, we'll be I'm ready. Here comes the timer. What do we have? Kick it off in the least spicy way possible by playing technology. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to Find technology is a very spicy start. This. All right, let's see here. Everyone's teching. We'll do one last tech update in a second. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop um, Alice for my two trade goods. Malice for two trade goods. Ooh, and then let's get a little tech update going on. And now I was answering a question for one of the players. Got that sorted. We have leadership also popping immediately. Oh, man. We're in for a long round. But what tech did they get? We have Dreadnought 2 for Kellerez. We have Dreadnought 2 for Nazroka. PDS 2 for Mahat. What? What? Why? Oh, sorry. Still buying leadership. One moment. Trying to defend this slice. Yeah, what I can do. Seems strange. Nalo got the light wave. Gravity drive and light wave. Very nice for Nalo. Neural for Mentak. Interesting. And fighter two for Cabal. Let's take a look at what we got here. Sorry, I'll put that in the right bag in a moment. Let me just grab these. Okay. Um, what are we looking at in terms of tokens post leadership? Well, let's. Nalu's got a bunch. Mentax still working on it. Cabal's got a bunch. Kellerus has a bot ton. Um, so Nazroka is back to where they started. The Alliance. Here's this. Kellerez just sneaks in there, steals Saudor. That law from forever ago. I wonder if I didn't see Kellerez and Nazroka whispering. It seems likely that they're just going to do a little swappy swap right there. Red didn't steal it? No, he's not nearby. Yeah, no, Jason. I don't know how long that'll hold up, though. There's plenty of other people that can get oh, there. Shoot. Sorry. Um, I For instance, Nalu. If no one minds. No, go. Go ahead. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. And he's up next, so some cursed 
point swapping, or blessed, depending on whether or not you want this game to end. Twilight Imperium. I never want to stop watching Twilight Imperium. Come on now. Especially this public objective for stage fives is like one of my favorites. This is just definitely one of the saddest games to see it because basically no one has any movement. But Nalu did finally manage to finish going down the blue tech tree. The only light wave deflectors on the entire board. And giving them a large upper hand and being able to score this two pointer. Do you have anything to offer? Um, a question about how you're getting there. Yeah, but there's a... Oh, yeah, the cruisers can go there. Oh, down there. Uh -huh -huh. Good call. Well, I totally missed that. Um, let's see. So you can get... Looking good from a hawk. Capacity. Oh, dear. Um, well, uh, what would you like? <laughs> um... I would love five trade goods. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Steep price. That's a, a two point. It's a very reasonable price. It's worth at least that. Unless you're green and selling your crucible to two for two. But here's the thing. Keller is also has to ask for insurance Keller's that Mahawk's not going to come back there. Yeah. That insurance oh, only really exists for real in the case of ceasefire. In the beginning. Just so I couldn't get Megaton. Oh, sure. Well, sounds like you should take that up with him. But, um, ba, 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 ba. um, okay. Well, if I give you those five trade goods, um, how am I going to guarantee you don't come right back? No, you don't. You don't. Bingo. Well, that doesn't sound very helpful. Um, what if you activate it and move no ships in? Obviously, you've got your commander, but it's at least a little bit of a guarantee. That seems pretty fair. Sorry, no. Oh, uh, you said no to that? Yeah. Oof. And then it looks like Kellaris' game is just gone. <laughs> and one tiny little blunder. Is it really gone? You'd hope not, but I All right. think they needed this. Fine. Five trade goods, you go somewhere else to start. Action tokens. I got to do something about it, and you haven't yep. scored a single secret. I mean... Yep. All right. Five trade goods, and you activate somewhere else. Mm. On the other hand. I feel like Mahak should just no. do this. I don't see why he wouldn't. No, I'm sorry. Uh, the target is too good. Oh, all right. Come on over. Else you, uh, any counter stroke? I any unexpected have action? Any actions yet? So, yeah, don't. We've got a handful of action cards. That is true. I'll just move it. We have yet to see unexpected action. We have yet to see a counter stroke. Could help out. Some gravity driving one of them. Oh yeah, gravity drive carrier can go pick up stuff from Astra of Loki and Abaddon. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Get on in there. You can even take the carrier, yeah, from there. Just bring one from up here. Yeah, right. Yep, one. Oh yeah, yeah, there are three. Never mind. My bad. Nice little hook. Yeah, I'm so glad we got off to. All right, cool. Let's roll. Technology is a fun start to the round. Leadership is a not very yeah, fun Richard. second to the round. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I can go to legally. Is there? Let's see. With dark energy tap. Oh no, it has to not contain other players' units. Oh, right there. No, I don't particularly want to lock that. All right, let's roll. Oh, the carrier tried. The carrier tried. I mean, honestly, there's decent odds that the uh, the infantry can win this fight. Infantry versus mech. Strong combat. Right, and I'm oh god, we're all boost. 
See if that infantry. Ah, oh, it's all over. Damn. He tried. I need a promissory note from you, as I won a combat. All right. I got the command of Mintex, and I explored the planet, right? With the... Yep, using the Nazaroka one, yes. Nazaroka. Yeah. Round five, baby. Off to the races. Notably blue and purple swapped, so blue can't really go back and retake Sador. Oh, a mech for... Oh, never mind, can't do that. He takes a commodity. Shit. All right, well, there's, there's half of Purple's win. How far can Kellerus get? All right, I just remembered Kellerus doesn't need the two pointer. Oh, uh, but he knows his secrets are really bad. So Kellerus does kind of need the two pointer. Yeah, I'm just going to play Reactor Meltdown. I drew it too late for the objective, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. Here comes the Reactor Meltdown. Um, From red to where? Mahawked, perhaps? Maybe Cabal. Come on! Why? So it should definitely be on... Uh, should it be on green? What would you build? No, green can't win now, right? Okay, so Cabal without Imperial. Nah, I can't build much. So yeah, I've spent. No, they can still win, right? Because they get the two pointer and their last secret. It's true. It's true. I'm gonna score on the one. So what is what are Cabal's machinations to get this two pointer? First off, it's somewhere somewhere over here. So white, I'm gonna go ahead and have you destroy this one on Arium. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, it's got to be Cabal comes to Thibba, right? Okay. Sounds like a old eighties movie. Weekend at Cabal's. Well, I guess it's actually they're going to the Mentax slice, so it's weekend at Mentax. Uh, okay. <laughs> Warfare Mentar? Wonder what they can do. Activate here. Yeah, so the original idea was that there's a little swappy swap. Not too not gonna end up that way, but uh, not not too much, but <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough, yes. Uh, I remember. So still just capacity one. Um Yeah. The swapping okay. continues. So I'm gonna bring that. And I would like to uh, invade and take, what is that? Sakulak, please. All righty. I love how jovial the Keller is players about this. All right. So, let's see. So once and Mahak comes, Sakulak, ruins his chance at the two-pointer. Uh, and explore it. Okay. Cool. Also... Uh, with my technology, every time I explore an exhausted planet, I can ready it. No, that's correct. You can double explore if you want. And oh yeah, that's right because it's a mech. <laughs> it gave me the thing I most wanted. So <laughs> could make it beefy for no yeah, reason. Uh, that's nice. That's that's not what I want right now. Uh, and then I will uh, use my agent. And I will double explore Sakulag. Ooh. Oh, there we go. You got another relic fragment. Nasroka staying in the. Uh, and I'm going to take that relic fragment. Staying in the stall game by exploring and getting a ton of relic fragments. So that's really great move by him. I'm curious. It is worth it to go to Mayharzel. And. And take that using the mechs. Yeah, for sure. Let me exhaust that. That's my turn. Even though he loses the support, that doesn't actually matter because he's getting a two-pointer for it if he can. It's basically like scoring one-pointer, which is pretty good. What other one-pointer does he have available to him? 
uh, five trade goods. Did he have five trade goods? He has zero. Hmm. It's going to pose a slight issue to the uh, uh, Zeroka. Also, no construction means that he is super ultra mega guaranteed. Sorry, you're doing scuttle? Uh, Maroon, you're muted. Sorry about that, guys. I was dead red if you want to grab a target for the bag. This is true. I've got my three. I get four for it. Oh, this one I know. Where did you scuttle from? Uh, I, I scuttled a dreadnought from uh, Bearig Litra 4. Thanks. So we got some nice quantity of trade goods over here for Nalu. Scuttling. Scuttling's pretty nice if you have the five dreadnought secret because they built the five dreadnoughts and then uh, they're all happy now. Whose turn is it now? Oh, it's Green's turn. No, this is an important turn. Ball moves forward directly into the Mahawk fleet. Another thing to look out for is that all of the heroes currently are online. We got Benediction. We got Hessian Prit doing a little something fancy fancy. Uh, surprise defensive combat value with the Argent... Uh, uh, Keller is Argent. Uh, the Cabal's not really going to do much. They're going to be able to try to eat these ships here. And any ships that go over Mechatol as well. That's not really worth much. But it is a stall, which is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Mendak do kind of just get to choose one space combat to win. Just kind of. Not exactly. But very useful yeah. in a uh, control objective round five. And then there's Nalu. Nalu is gone. But they didn't have an action phase here. Anyway. There is a PDS, yeah. So I have to bring more. And just... What else is coming down the pipeline? Mm, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay. Do you have an objection? No, I'll just call <laughs> retreat. Uh, yeah. After just, space I, I would, uh, Yeah, just I will bring one more ship and thinking okay. which one is it. Is this really favored to win? I guess it is. It's basically the same on each side. Uh, but there's two more fighter twos in exchange for a purple cruiser. But I think you will retreat anyway because you do not want to lose ships. You would just unlock in it with your commander, I think. White and blue are whispering. They might be trying to work out a deal for like uh, one of New Albion or Starpoint. Yeah, let it be a dreadnought. With a I'm taking a dreadnought, character. just as extra insurance. That'll swing the odds of the fight very, very highly in Cabal's favor. Now this railgun is just incredible. Wonder if Cabal can just take the line straight down the map to Mahakam system. Okay, you moving all that? Yeah, that's my final movement. Uh, okay. Space camp. So there, notably, Cabal's system is very lightly defended. One hit. So Stein. DS2 that Mahakta did hit, in fact. And I call retreat. Uh, Each side getting three hits. So another sustain. Mm. One fighter. Their direct hit. 
Arvacon Rex could go down. And I will make a sustain on my block sheep. Right. No direct hits. Well, okay, what did you remove? I only moved the uh, uh, fighter. You removed one fighter. one fighter. It's the only thing the Mahawk actually lost and in this I fight. Di I play a direct hit against your proc ship. Sabo. <laughs> cool. Now I had a Sabo to protect his flagship. That's pretty clever. Um, do insubordination. On Mentor? Uh, for red. Really? Not Mahawked? Insubordination. I wonder if he's worried about the stall. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Trying to make sure that Warfare pops as soon as possible. Warfare is likely Keller is his only path to the two-pointer. That's really what he needs. Oh man, if Keller had had one more turn, they would have been able to use Diplomacy on Saldor, but it got stolen right from under them by Mahakt. That was a good sharp play by Mahakt to just know to go straight there immediately. But it's also really good by Mahakt, because normally they wouldn't be able to attack blue, but with white coming in here, it made it a lot easier. Interesting. So where then is Mahak's other option? Do they go straight for Nalu? They go in through this beta hole? they go going through this beta hole, then there's two players that can attack them. They also have two ways they can go. It's an interesting conundrum. It is currently Mahawk's turn as well, so... It is up to them right now to figure out what they want to do. Feels like it starts with unlocking this system. If they are looking for a stall, sounds like a very valuable way to do it. Uh, but that does also cost them one of their precious uh, few tokens remaining. Of which, even if they predictive intelligence, they have at most six total. These other four are other factions things, and they cannot be removed. Building. They're building a home? And using bystanders and predictive. Weird. What could possibly possibly be the uh, long term plan? We're just in the part of round five where everyone's just stalling, though. We're doing like minor things that help them. I think Cabal went into this this uh system in order to force Mahawk's fleets away from Mechatol. Notably, there's also this this entire Nalu fleet in Malice with Light Wave and Gravity Drive. Do they have Carrier 2 right now? They do not have Carrier 2 for them, unfortunately. But they should still be fine. Like, they can move all these fighters just with the Matriarch and have the... Like, the fighters can kind of be alone. The Yellow Infantry can actually take up some of that capacity. They still have more capacity. Not that they have anything to carry it with, but... I wonder if we'll see them go for Vorhal. Ah, because Cabal would win that fight there. Hmm. Not at Vorhal. Well, maybe even at Vorhal, but certainly the retake fight they would win. There's certainly a conundrum. Hmm. It's very quiet. <laughs> it's Deep like thought going luck. on. Deep thought. I mean, someone has it with their secrets. I'll also produce at home. Do you mind if we keep going? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um. 
I would like to build to, there. Uh, play my hero. Ash and Pret are build. coming out. Uh, gain one relic. What relic do they get? This could be big. Could be the Obsidian. It could be Shard of the Throne. And I got. Could be. Ooh. I finally got it. <laughs> hey, I got a point. That's not what I want to see. Um. This is good for them. They don't. Nosferatu does not control any legendary planets currently, so it's just their home system that they got to defend. And quite frankly, no one can really get there. And then I can uh, perform secondary two cards, and so uh, one of them I want to do uh, Imperial and draw a secret. One of them feels like it should be Warfare. It could have been Construction if he had two uh, structures out, but doesn't quite work. Where does Shard of the Throne put Nazaroka? Did they bump themselves up? One, two, three, four, five. And so yeah, okay. shuffle it. Yeah. And if they score the two pointer they can win, I guess, because uh, they can score one, two, three secrets. Is I'm going to do the secondary of trade. Secondary of trade, not of warfare. You're sure not of warfare. The trade goods. Um, and then, um, White, will you uh, wash them for me? Sure, I'll do that. You shouldn't. Thank you. You shouldn't wash them with me? Why? Yeah, you still have to spend five trade goods for the objective. And you have uh, Nasrika doesn't win via the spend five trade goods objective. And they win via the two pointer. Now you have a chance. Oh shoot! They also have Imperial. That's neat. Oh me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have no, I have no real chance. But I'm trying to get a respectable score here. So we're good with that. Um, we might have an even better thing than Big Al's fifty-five point game. We might be able to get then, the legendary fifty-four point game into six-man tiebreaker. Which would, quite frankly, be incredible. All right, I am going to activate this system. I'm going to pull a fighter from here, and I've got light wave and grab drive. So it's going exploring. Two action cards. Ooh. No complaints. Could have been better. Could have been secret. But that. not going to complain. It's possible that uh, Nalu's uh, secret objective that they're sitting on is exactly what they want anyway, so. So exciting. Slow burn. There's so many possibilities. We haven't seen Mentak do anything aggressive at all this round yet. And they have Warfare. Are they going to be able to redistribute some of these fleet tokens out of there? Oh, man. Hmm. Really want that system, huh, Green? Which one? <laughs> I don't even know who I would bet on winning. I mean, it matters so much whether it goes to tiebreakers or not. I mean, it's it's Mahakt, right? It's Mahakt. That's who you say is winning right now. Mahakt already predictive and intelligence. This is it. They've just got these five tokens. Six tokens? No, that's a that's a legitimate five tokens. Because they activated at home for some reason. Cabal is going to Semlor. Why? Oh, there's too many secrets. People have scored so few secrets this game. There's just so many unknowns. It's almost impossible to figure out. 
So much not adjacent to our home system. Um, they're vacating Mechatol? They care a lot about Semlor. What's on Semlor? They're going to get a relic? No. What is here? Uh, that's that's my fun eye movement. So green, any chance you you don't take the planet? You just want to sit above it. Why should I not take it? Hi. What good does it do you now? Now it's so much easier I to take Mechatol, but no one else cares except for Nazroka, who they're blocking oh, by doing this. Saying, what about it? Um. So, I'm th thinking. Sorry. Um. Relics, and so you just get a. So you get a relic draw, but that thing's stuck there. What strategy card did you have? One. They're locked there. Um, yeah, blue is very I'll, much in it. Yeah. that deal. Okay. So let's make a space combat first and make the binding. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So do. You... Play any actions, guys? Um, I, I guess because I can here. I will play uh, Fighter Prototype. Okay. Sure. One fighter is a lot. Cabal's getting Fighter Prototypes. Big battle over Simlor. They seem to have worked out a deal. I feel like he's going to give me one extra hit here. So <laughs> He's a brave little fighter. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, so let's make uh, combat draws and first, do you retreat? I mean, uh, no. Do you declare it? Okay. I do not. No, he 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 needs to not lock down these ships. Azu gets zero hits, zero hits. And let's roll uh -huh. again. And the car. Yeah, that did gone. nothing. Yep. Fighter prototype it's sure tried there. Right. Yeah. Yep. No, it's again. Oh my god. The true battle of the Titans here. These ships are hitting hard. They're hitting fast. And they're hitting wow. and then zero hits in three rounds. Uh, One hit. Nice. Oh, it's beautiful. How many hits was that you got? I have One. One hit? Right. There have been four rounds of combat and there has been one hit. No, we're back to this again. <laughs> okay. I think we are not going to play <laughs> this. <now. laughs> there it is. Woo! There you got it finally. Yep. Uh, nice. It took a lot of rounds. Okay. So, um, I from mystery and two relic fragments for you yeah. to not invade. Okay. Do you agree, agree for that date? Okay. All right. So, Cabal gets an entire relic to not take Semlor. What is going on? Yeah. All right, no, I've got it. Cabal has unexpected action, and they're going to lift this token, and all these ground forces are here so they can go through and take them with them. That's it. Kellers is stalling? Yes, Kellers stalls by activating this system. Cool. And there's still Benediction left to math into all the possible equations of what could happen. Locks up again. They can play politics. Maybe they don't want to give everyone else all these action cards. Well, your other option is to spend tokens that you probably need later, so. What could possibly happen?
This is one of those late game scenarios where you take ten minutes to decide how you're stalling. Maybe. Uh, you're not getting it. Just <laughs> you this Don't even try. Build. Yeah. It is, in fact, politics time. That seems very reasonable. Just hope you draw better than the entire rest of the table does combined. Yeah, I'll take easy speaker. No red politics. No white politics. Yeah, I'll just continue. That's it. Everyone else. No blue politics. They're still all green and yellow. No green politics. Oh, no, blue did use politics. Okay, okay. Trying to dig into something special. I'll spend... Uh... After here. Follow that. And at last, Mentax making a move. Going through the beta wormhole to Quan. With four cruisers. That should pretty handily win that fight. This looks like a retreat angle for Nazaroka. Except he's probably going to be dead by the time he does. I'm going to go ahead and use Ambush on my first two cruisers here. So I'm going to roll Space Combat and count the first two. Okay. They, the first two rolls did hit. I got two hits. Was that two hits? Yeah. Okay. Two hits, yep. And would you like to retreat? I it was like... an ambush roll. Huh? You forgot about it. The ambush works only for two cruisers. Yeah, ambush worked for two shots. So let's uh, take the first two, two rolls. I, I said the first two already. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I would like to announce retreat. Okay. Sounds good. Interesting that he destroyed the flagship over the carrier. Yep. Wow. Good at rolls by Mentak here. And terrible rolls by Blue. And also, Blue isn't even the one that really needs to be slain. Okay. Thank you. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and score Destroy the Greatest Ship and trade two red frags over to Blue. Interesting. And what the heck? I'm also going to draw okay. an action card. Okay, so, so red agreed to pay blue to to allow destroy your greatest ship to happen and then interesting but then also blue gave red to red fragments <laughs> to not take the ground on similar what in the world fascinating and then i'm also going to produce in that the red's back to having tokens if they need it yeah. or a relic if they want it. Actually, no, I'm not going to. Um, can you Those give two me options. a promissory note from your hand? Uh oh, me. Yeah. That's Mentax's second secret. Mentax up with the big boys at seven. And with that, and then I'm going to draw an action card. And I will end my turn. How are they progressing through this round? An hour 38 minutes left. Okay. I will purge these two relics, fragments. And we're getting a relic for blue, which is useless. It does actually nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not what I want to see. Yeah, not the good ones we get. So you're going to drink a vial of murky liquid we found in a stasis vault on a dead world because you think it's a concentrated genetic essence of an entire species' That's most brilliant minds. Do at the moment. And you think I'm being irrational. 
you know it's good when they have to italicize the italicized text so they unitalicize it that's when you know the quote's good um hello could you move those fighters to this yep. system um i'm pretty yeah. sure no don't do that who has a space gun on objective secret and yep that's all Mark, <laughs> Mark never picks a pds to uh, <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna move so much hate you have wait to... no there's no 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 there's the other one yeah move the other one I'm in that's why my heart to go pds2 i forgot about turn your fleets to dust yeah, oh my goodness what a call it doesn't merchant station i don't know i think we'll trade goods for nalo except it's actually commodities it's still well, i think he has to for he has to he has to because otherwise he's he, he doesn't have to no i don't okay. no i don't i'm, I'm not gonna flip i'm oh, not gonna okay. flip it because i can go i can go to malice and back over yeah thanks all right so i would push back not very spicy okay i use my agent on you oh, well thank you sir and thanks me, uh, I don't know. I, I got agent trading. Mm. Oh. I'll have the camera back on the second I'm eating a little chocolatey snack okay i i will bar my rake use the black market forgery we're getting another relic right now tell us no it's obsidian nice oh there's the obsidian for cabal well now cabal's just in the lead for sure right fuck me okay just what green needed So what's left that's worth points? Just Crown of Infidia, right? And he has five trade goods. I have two secrets in status, don't worry. Um, all right, well, I'm in no rush. We see some more stalling from Kellaris. I'm gonna play exploration exploration probe on the supernova. How do I uh, explore that? Do I just draw right, a card? Right, right, cl right click the frontier token. Oh, right click frontier token. There we go. They got it. We got an enigmatic device for Ooh, okay. red. That's nice. They probably have the money to use it, except they don't. But besides that one small fact, they do. Cameron's back on. Bam. Snack obtained. I'm going to play a ghost ship. Um, did you see my message? Me? Yeah. All the stally cards. They're coming all out. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yes, there is a target now. Okay. What do I got left? Yeah, I'll build here. little build from blue going on in star point oh it's probably talked to well, i probably agreed to plop diplomacy after he did this or something so that these planets are defended from any would-be takers such as nalu that makes sense oh can somebody answer a question too so during the agenda or during the yeah they're in the agenda phase i used uh ai development or the Maw of Worlds. Did that thing refresh or no? No, I think we just get planets back after. 
Okay. That's that's what I thought. Just making oh, sure. Yeah, that's absolutely yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh, I thought Maul was just good anything. Uh, oh, Maul, you had to read. Oh, no, you did have Didn't to. Didn't you get prefab? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right, actually. It's just Git. So my AI is actually fine. Yeah, yeah okay. it should be fine. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. What's this build looking like? He's got the AI development algorithm in order to use to build a little bit bigger ships. And... Is that it? Nothing else. Nice. Couple dreadnoughts. Nice and solid. Yeah, they're going next. Where are they putting the moves? Where are they putting the moves? Nalu is the most mobile fleet on the board. They're talking the red. All right. I am. Are we finally seeing this? Uh, Use my agent. Now I'm going to activate the asteroid field over in this alpha wormhole. For themselves. And I'm going to take What's going in? I wonder if this is going to be as many units as he can possibly take, so that that way he can go one and two. The negotiations with Red fell through in order to swap some planets. I'm going to take six fighters with me. We got a lot of plans adjacent to other players' home systems that they can go for. Nice one, two, three, four. Is that the only place on the map that's true? Let's see if we'll move anything. We got this one is three. Combat. This one is three. Hold on one sec. Hold on. Hold on. This one is three. I'm not. I'm not done moving yet. I'm. I'm still gonna take more stuff with me because I'm not just gonna let you poke me. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Isn't this just going to be a benedicted away? <laughs> like, this is about to be thrown into the Cabal stuff. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing right now. See a big old juicy benediction. That's what you think. Alright, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to click unless you want to pay me. Uh, no, go for it. All right. Oh, uh, you got to activate the system. You can just pick it back. Uh, whoops. I thought flipping my agent would be uh, there. I can also just roll. Is it on a five? Yeah, here, I'll activate and then put my, I'll put my token back because I use my agent. Uh, I'll just uh, do it on a five here. So it's 
Two space cannon hits. Yes, I am going to sustain on both of my drugs. I think there is only one hit. He has an anti mass, so. Oh, yeah, anti mass, yep. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, so I'll sustain on one of my drugs. That's a good point. Gotta remember the anti mass. I often forget the anti mass. That's one of the easiest things in this game to forget is the yes, that's... plus one defense that you get against space cannons. Um, yeah, and let me think real quick. Um, red. Yep. Um, I will. Do you have your? Is your agent? You've already used your agent, right? I honestly cannot remember. Um, I, don't, I don't like remember you using it anyway. This I don't think you spent it. Yeah. I don't think he spent it this round. I can't remember him ever yeah. used it. Well, Can he I used, give well, you? Wasn't it used during the agenda? No, I didn't get any trade goods during the agenda. Calaris Rider? What happened on the Calaris Rider? It gives the uh, trade goods like and they the made the no, 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 like what happened on this past round? I, I know what it does. I don't remember too. The Calaris Rider failed. That's the one I did and did. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't get any trade goods off of that either then. Yeah, it was my tech rider yeah. pass. Um, can I give you a trade good to... Trigger a yeah yeah, yeah thing and then you, and then you can pillage me as well. You can take one more. Sure. Yeah. And I'll take it. I'll just take the action card off of it. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, maybe you yeah. use it after you. Why is this here? here? No, nope. there's no ground force. It didn't. Spot, uh, you bait uh, him to with gravity it. drive. I guess you can bring some ground forces from other places. I did drive. Maybe he just doesn't have any ground forces. I paid him two relics, but that wouldn't trigger it either. Yeah, I guess he has a, I got a matriarch from to bring one and uh, this carrier to bring another. Operations. Don't like the odds of one infantry versus literally any of those planets. Oh, right. Yeah. The minimum is New Albion right there. Discard one action card. Ball going to Atlas. Yeah, that works. Curious what it is that they want. Yeah. Okay, do you play Parlay? Oh, no, wait. Um, you have a PDS. I cannot do this. Do you have a plasma scoring? It is not. Uh, All you need to do is bring that one fighter with it. Maximum of one hit. Maybe just bring the carrier from Vorhal instead. That makes sense. This fighter. Nope. Aang is now yeah, open in the space area, but it is also a gravity right, which is a good and a bad thing. Oh, I will take that man. Oh, never mind. Okay, it's, it's my final move. Do you play parlay? I mean, do you shoot PDS? Yeah. They scanned him from a hawk. Was this unready? Nope, it was used. Basically, all of the planets have been used. There's a couple planets over here. Ang, Corman, Zobat, Acheron. Do you play Parley? Nope. Ooh, okay. Atlas taken. There's red planets that he's looking for. Very confusing. I will say for fantasy, Cabal has a lot of planets. Continuous one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I'll uh, use my magnetic device, paying six bucks to get uh, light wave. Keller is achieved light wave. Do it. Now that changes the game. Already got two blue. Right? Or am I thinking of it out of order? That uh, light wave needs uh, three blue skips. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a disaster. Thank you. I am totally wrong. Um, then I'm going to have to rethink my life and just activate that. Doop. <laughs> okay. That said, Killerus thought he had Light Wave, and he doesn't because it requires three blue prereqs instead of uh, less. 
Mm, not are those fighters yours? There's no blue skips around that he can take somehow, right? Is it your fighters? No, the only one's Thibba, I think. Yeah, never mind. I've got another. I've got a yellow fighter there. Hey, I had one. Right here. Oh, sorry. I don't have... Yep. Yep. I made the same mistake. I didn't see that. There was a yellow fighter sitting like right here on the edge of this wormhole. Device? It was blending into the warfare. Mentax gotten a couple of pillages since we last saw him with the enigmatic device, allowing him to use it and achieving Cruiser 2, which gives Mentax uh, an upgrade of one movement. From one movement carriers with capacity to three movement to cruisers with capacity. Round's kind of panning out pretty well for everyone. Okay. Except for, I guess, Nazaroka, but that's it. NRA come over and go for Lazar. Or sorry, not Mentac come over and go for Lazar. Well. Okay. Red, grab you drive could you please not pillage me if I use Psycho? Um, since I help you get that secret. Yeah. That's fair. Right. Ugh, I hate that this is the choice, but I'm going to uh, Psycho two tech skips for two trade goods. Now it works. He's up to five trade goods. And that's not an action. To uh, now I will play Imperial. Now everyone knows. <laughs> Score. It's secret time. I will draw a secret. I am going to have to shuffle in. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of players are going to be drawing and shuffling secrets here. Notable thing about Vorhal is that once upon a time, Cabal had a bunch of ships here and here that were going to be able to help retake Vorhal. But now if you take Vorhal, all you have to do is fight this, and then you have to fight this. Hmm. Which is still, those are two meaty fleets. But like, if you had one like insane fleet, that, yes, that would win. Now. Yeah, so let me, so let me... Yeah, sorry, gotta throw a secret back. Here we go. And... Okay, right. purple. Do you follow? Yeah, I follow. The Mahawk Maybe. is gonna follow. Oh, no, they don't follow. Oh, no, they do follow. And the blue, you can choose which token to remove. Okay. Um, Notably, Nollar did not follow us. They think they've got their secret scored. Most likely. Yeah, because they even have a token to follow if they really want. Uh, hmm. Take this one back. Mahawk used their agent on Nazroka, so the New Albion Starpoint ships are all Unlocked. Ooh, and Mads Reimer, thank you very much for the follow. That's kind of big for Nazroka. It's a lot of ships. All right. Uh, yellow. Did you want a secret? No, yellow uh, is not following. Yet. Okay, right. So far, uh, everyone's been. I don't. I'm good. Oh, red's not following. No secret for me. Oh, okay. Red has one left in hand. That looks like they probably just have that guaranteed. Yeah, no secondary for me. What does green think? Green has the obsidian, notably, so that's why they have two scored and two in hand. They're discarding one of these. So with the obsidian, Cabal just has to score five trade goods. Do they have five trade goods? They do. So Cabal just has to score two secrets. That gets them to 10. Gets them to 10 after Nalu, but Nalu would have to. Uh, Nalu can't do it, because Nalu could score the two-pointer and one of their secrets and get to 9. So currently, Cabal, with just having to score two of their three secrets uh, and hold their home system, is a 
Very nice front front. Row. going to say Cabal is most likely to win with a question mark. Don't actually know that that's true. And I'll take one. White's getting their secret. When will people notice that they got to shut down Cabal? I wonder what the heck Cabal's trying to do. I guess. All right, I'm going to discard one, um, obviously, if y'all want to keep going. Okay. So then I'll end my turn. Kirill is done. Nazroka caught up slightly. All right. Nazroka just has to score uh, the two pointer and two secrets. And they're technically in the running, see. albeit on the gate. Activate this system. And I'm going to use Crucible. Do, 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 do. They have Crucible. <laughs> so it's an action. And Light Wave. One movement. Plus oh man, they can super get there. Hours. So I'm going to take this Dreadnought here. Actually, I'm going to take my Sustain one. It's going to go to Malice, to the Beta, and get plus two. The natural plus one for Grab Drive, plus the plus one for moving out of it. And I'm going to bring with it. Yep. As many fighters as fleet capacity can take. Three there. fighters. And what the heck is going on? On the way this... through Malice, he is going <laughs> to swoop and infantry. And I will. What's this? Space cannon defense. One more fighter. Space cannon defense. There. Sure they two scored already, so they have to score both, right? Yeah, uh, for who? Cabal? Yes, they do have to score got both of their two. Oh, yeah, true. Capacity, so There's two of the three that they had in their hand, but yeah. Because yeah. they don't actually have the three in their hand. They have to pick which two exactly they're going to uh, score right now. Uh, it's also assuming that one of them is even um, action phase. The one infantry. I do need to bring another infantry. I'm a goat. Thank you very much for the follow. Wait, also, was I talking about Cabal? No, it's... Where was I talking about? That's right. Cabal has to score... Yeah, exactly the two that they have in their hand. And then they have the one-pointer guaranteed. They can also score one of those and score the two-pointer, but that seems less likely. Meanwhile, Nazroka has three in hand. They have to score any two of those three and the two-pointer to win. going to take this... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring. I feel like when Nalu tries to land, they're just going to get space cannoned. I guess it's a 50-50. They have anti-mass defectors, right? I'm going to go ahead and bring this. It does work. With another infantry. There we go. They guaranteed get Zobat. As well. But I don't see where they have ground forces for another um, down the planet. Another viable planet. Okay, it's a, it is your final movement. Yep. So I have a one PDS shot. It is after the movement. So one the PDS did hit, so they did need to bring both of those ground forces. One fighter. Oh no no no! That was on the space. Okay, I do not play. I set up. Thank you. Moves, so I <clears throat> yeah, the the overlays are real nice that have been developed for uh, both tabletop simulator and uh, tabletop I'm playground. Doing the landing. Where is it? And one hit also. So yeah, Nalu did need to bring two ground forces. I don't know how Nalu lands on another planet though. Oh. 
depends on secrets. Sure does. This game depends so much on secret objectives, and I can't wait for people to actually start running out of tokens, which we're very, very close to. We're right on the edge. I mean, we're seeing Nalu have to start actually going. They're down to three more tokens after this. They've already used Zoo. Yo, man. The ball going for Sador. Mahakt. Can't respond. Mahakt doesn't have a Cabal token. The Star Lancer doesn't work. Oh, it's a Winslay and a grab for the two-pointer all in one. And yet more of Cabal's plastic spread thin upon the board. Like a thin layer of Vegemite upon a spread of Big Al's toast. Do they do Vegemite in New Zealand? They do it in Australia. Pardon my cultural incompetence. This is so many... I don't know if I've ever seen one player control so many systems in a six-player game. I guess they lost complete control of this system. And so, we did see it just a second ago. They're just catching back up to where they were before. How many tokens is Cabal down to? Two! Okay. Oh man, good. Cabal's got to start putting the moves yep. down. I can't retreat. So it's just space combat. Any cards? No. I don't have cards. Rolls, gets the hit he needs. Purple gets a spite hit back. Bombard. Okay. Do you play Do you bombard? Yeah. Um, Here comes the bombardment. What? Does it work? Is he making an example of Mahak's uh, world? I will bombard. Did you pick the... Hold on, I keep forgetting. Who knows? Forget So I just realized my green screen is yeah, not what it actually matters, and but it does help with the use bunker. camera. Let oh, me fix that. It's minus four, right? So yeah. there is no hit. And do you play parley? Nope. Okay, let's fight. Bam. Cool. One hit. Slightly better. I take it. And you had a crucial. Alright, so Cabal did grab it, but they did not get the bombardment hit. Oh, dude, a bunker. I don't even have it. <laughs> I wonder if Bunk denied make an example. Is it still blue or white? It must be white, right? Oh, sorry, what? Yeah. yeah oh, just... sorry about that. Nah, it's just me. Uh, oh, man. I'm going to activate here. Zoop. Uh, send in the flagship, zoop, and he'll bring on over a mech, and... Uh, Is he trying to take Sokolog back? What is he, is he betraying? One, no, he doesn't have the promise ring. What is going on here? Two, three. What is, what is going on? I'm so confused. All right. Uh, I don't see the secrets, and I'm so confused. Zoop. Okay. Um, oh, he did have the alliance. Four, yeah, no, he's just betraying a friend. Um, let me check. He's got to just be betraying a friend. Nope, oh, nothing yet. All right, space combat. What do we have? Um, it did roll zero. flagship. Uh, Artemiris hits two on a seven. Um, all right, I'll roll just two on a seven. Uh, somewhere? Where is the auto roller? There it was. Very right, copy. Ah, thank, thank you. you. Oh man, that white is brighter than the sun. Oof. That's no, nope, no hits from the flagship yeah. there either. Go again. Let's do that. Oh my goodness. Like a flagship is not scripted. 
There. Okay, you got the two hits. There we go. I'll lose a fighter. Yeah, there's a fighter and for sure there. What'd you get on me? Two hits. It's dead. Oh, no, there was a fighter in there? Okay, two hits. Whoa. One more. Let's go. Next round of combat. Fighter did not hit. Oh my god, the Dreadnought can't miss. But the Artemiris also cannot. Did and I then not? you... Oh. Where's my other fighter? That doesn't really matter. Just That'll do it. I had three and I lost one. Oh, I actually killed it because I thought it was my fighter because I thought my thing said originally I had fighters. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no worries. Yeah. Well, that'll do it. Did he betray a friend? All right. And I'll score betray a friend. Yes. Okay, cool. Ready to go. The first killer is his points. Um, and I don't actually want the planet. I'm just going to lay my mech on Lazar to make it a little harder to take. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. So there is a point for Kellerez, who does have the guaranteed five trade goods and could, in theory, score these two. They went on the two, which is after Cabal would win on the one if Cabal manages to score both of their secrets. What's next? Demonstrate your power. So we're looking at. I'm hoping Cabal is slain. Oh my goodness, Cabal's home system is very barren. Very, 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 very not full of things. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff that Cabal does have, though. If they activate the home system, they can build a, a mean chunk of the guys in there. We're on to Mahakt, running precious low on token. Three more of them. They're thinking carefully. The stalls earlier were pretty easy decisions. What does he do? He's looking, he's thinking, he's got his mouth up, his mouse over some planets by his own system. He's probably counting up his own units. What is Mahak's path to victory here? Mahak is at seven. They've scored two secrets, so it is officially the two pointer and the A secret. Mahak currently possesses no planets next to other players' home systems due to the fact that Cabal took Saudor so rudely from their hands. God, I've played so bad. Should have done that earlier. Um... And he's now realizing that there was something that he should have done long ago. Is three tokens enough still? I mean, he could lift up Saldor, reactivate it, and also activate one other system. But that's it. That's all. That's everything he has. I guess he has Benediction. Benediction. Speaking of Benediction. I can't move green to the asteroid field, right? Because he doesn't have anti-mass. I that's don't right. know, but I think I cannot move to there. Um, Hint, are you checking on that? I guess, yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Is there like a tournament moderator? I can probably just add tournament moderator. Uh, if anyone in the chat happens to know, uh, can you Bened can Mahak Benedict uh, into Ashworth? Anyway, so I'm going to do it uh, this way. So yellow is going to attack green here. Oh, yeah, let's just going into green. Okay. Oh, Never mind then. Okay, he can have it. That makes sense. That's also what I thought, but I wanted to double check. 
Because it's also weird because, like, Mahakt has so, uh, anti mass deflectors, and, uh, I'm never which seen it used. So. is, like, the only way that even maybe Mahakt can move that stuff into there, but also no. And move me into the asteroid, please. Yeah. I'm moving yellow into you. Okay. And do I have to put down the command token or anything? No, no last batch of Dane data. Good to know. know. Yeah, that'll confirm it. In, uh, GTS. Yeah. It's the same situation like, like with the supernova. Alright, I, um, sounds good. Okay, so what's happening? The yellow I guess one of here? You, yeah. I guess um, yellow has to activate your system. Yeah, that's what I would do is um switch the turn to yellow, yeah. have yellow activate that system, and then just roll to there. Yeah. Blue. Okay. Just uh, switch until we get to yellow. Yeah, that makes sense. And that it's that it's only the other player's movement abilities. Incorrect. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Thank you, Dragothaxon. Love your spreadsheet. Oh, the ball does get to eat for free. Oh, never mind. I don't have served it. up on a buffet. But you can play in it. Yeah, and you can't retreat. But um, so nobody who is favored to win this one. Nope. Uh, uh, it's, it's, got, it's, well, yeah. it's it's cabal. Does the retreat works in this situation? Yeah. So yellow is the attacker, you are the defender. So you can, can't can skill with people. You can't skill retreat fighting. here, right? Oh my god, I don't know all the benediction rules. Where where's the Dane data? Okay. There's like a you... there's like a whole bunch of um no. Dane data stuff. I don't play also. Do I rule help yes. pins? Fight. Official Dane FAQ, here we go. Hits. Yeah, you cannot skill retreat. Two hits. I'm going to play uh, shields. I'm going to actually play two shields holdings. You can't. Okay, I'll play one shield holding. You can't, right? And why? Oh my goodness, who's Mahak? Because it's different units, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. The ruling on same action card is can't play two of the same named action cards that affect the same units. Yeah, so but you can play two. This doesn't affect a unit, right? It's just assigned hits. Yeah, but if you use more, oh yeah, it wouldn't. Much. It wouldn't affect units either. Anybody have a ruling? I'm ruling on. You can do it. I mean, it two shields to, holdings. As long as it's not the same unit, then uh, you can. No, no, no. You're in. The issue comes up with the, uh, for instance, flank speed. Because I, I, was, I, I was... flank speed, yeah. Because that's. I believe the ruling is probably that you can't play two shields holdings because this is not in a window of each individual unit. This is all in the window before you assign hits to your ships. So this is when totaling up the number of hits. Uh, but I'll also check this one. Okay, yeah, let's check that real quick. See here, you can't play two shields holding. Uh, Brian answers, same combat round, yes. Same pool of hits, no. Okay. Okay, they got it. Only one shield holding. So this, since this is one pool of hits off combat, uh, mm -hmm. it won't work here. These are all these rules that I was like pretty sure I knew. And then I, d I did think that Mahakt couldn't move into the ash oh, field. Uh, but there was like, I wasn't certain. Yep. And then also, you d I knew you couldn't do the two shields holding. Oh yeah, but not like sure enough. I like to cite on on the tough rulings like this. I like to find and sources that say it. To fight the and they found sources. Ship, so I take it too. Very nice. So much fighters, no infantry. I don't. No. Okay, another round. Yep. Another round. Ooh. What did we even end up with? Hits. Two green hits. Wow. That's good for Nalu. I gotta re-roll. It 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 for some reason didn't take it showed two remaining and then didn't take me down. Hold on a sec, I gotta re-roll. <laughs> Unfortunately. There you go. Yellow is re-rolling because it didn't roll the correct number of things. Oh, only one hit. Yeah, yellow got destroyed. Okay, I'll keep bye bye yellow. And you take one hit. The gods. Yellow's trying to hold on. Let's roll again. One hit there, two hits there. 
my last fighter dies. I'll sustain with my dread and kill one fighter. Any direct hits? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I took one from the back. Okay, so we roll again. Roll again! Got away with the sustained damage. Three hits, that'll do it. Nala gets one last spite hit. That's it. Oh, yeah. Nala was really hoping they could live that. These were some of their last unlocked ships. But looks like they're petering out at last. The dragon fighter are yours. Oh my goodness, look at all these ships that Cabal can build locked down. So now I just need to pass turn back to... Uh, back to purple, I think. Yep. Yeah, I got a pass turn. Purple, purple can end. Now it is red's turn. Interesting. Warfare time? Oh my goodness, it's warfare time. They're lifting up the token on Quan. Interesting. Are they going to redistribute any of their tokens? They have got a lot of tokens in fleet. What system do we unlock, right? A Quan, okay. White is following warfare, okay. Yellow is following warfare, so a lot of unlocked ships coming out for, like everyone. Interesting. Also, thank you very much, chat, for your help with the rulings. Very good. Very helpful. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I got anything else to do. <laughs> Blue passes. Okay. We have our first pass. Everybody. Pass it. There, there's over. Oh no, there's just under an hour left. I mean, we could go to around six, but I think someone's gonna win. Um, is it think or hope? It's one of the two. All right, I am going to. How many tokens are we running to? We got three. You passed. Three there. Two there. Four there. For some reason didn't redistribute any of those fleet tokens. And three there. So everyone's running back down to uh, about the same number of tokens. System. Okay. Oh, there's an unveil flagship secret coming out for Nalu, I want to say. How do you do that? Oh, yeah, they can move by themselves. Yeah, that, yeah I've got five or two, so... So this should put Nalu up to a lovely seven points. I would just uh, finish my Can they point score out. any of these publics? Yeah. They can score structures or trade goods. One, two. Uh, something happened to Nalu's other structure. No more ships to Oh, no, no, there's a PDS right here. I hate cover. So they can score the structures. They can score the trade goods if they wanted to instead. Uh, and that would put them up to a grand total of eight at the end of the game. Unfortunately, not nine, which is more likely what they would need for the two or for the uh, tiebreaker to happen. Let's see if this is an unveil flagship. I think there's the combat rules. I'll lose one a lot of combats with their flagship over the course of the game. Oh wait, there's still a warfare going on? Oh my goodness. Ah, Cabal's got the railgun reloaded and unlocked. Thanks to warfare happening pretty early. I'm interested in why Mentag decided to warfare then and not later. Stall it out so that uh, Cabal doesn't get to do exactly this. It's not that threatening. Uh, do they have um, cruiser two? They do not. Okay, zero final movement, right? 
Yep. Mm. I would declare a retreat, I think. Yeah. Okay. Retreat's declared by Cabal. All right. Suddenly, no one cares about Mechatorex anymore. Remember when Mechatorex was cool? By any cards? By the way, one Dreadnought died by. Never mind, okay. No, no, no cards. So, one round of space combat. One round of combat. Can Nalo get the two hits? I don't think they need it for Unveil Flagship. If it is Unveil Flagship, they got the two hits they needed. Uh, Cabal gets to eat two more fighters. Still, it didn't. You know, for some reason, ignore, uh, ignore all the hits off of anything else here. I got two hits. Nothing, nothing off my flagship. I don't know why it didn't pick it up. Ooh, two right. total I'm gonna, hits. I'm going to play Unveil flagship. There it is. Oh, flagship no, unveiled. Yeah, point with the, <laughs> my hero. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Nalu could have found somewhere to unveil their flagship later anyway. Hard to in terms of the two pointer. Cabal is sitting right here on Sador. Nice and pretty. What they're probably looking for is Arnav Mir. Just one of those planets there. Oh, but we might get to see the uh, Keller as hero if that happens. I lost an idea what I'm doing with this round. Oh, I hope we get to see the uh, Keller's hero. Fall activating the beta? What? We've already seen uh, win a combat against the player in the lead. Whichever one that is. Sparker Rebellion? There it is. Mox scored that one a while ago. Do they need access to the beta wormhole for something? Look at empty malice over here too. No one cares. Empty mechatol, empty malice. All that matters are the planets next to people's home systems. And it's the people think matters so little until this objective comes out and suddenly they matter so much. Okay, that's everything. Do you play an action scars? Yeah. Uh, no. So let's fight. Do it. Uh, announce a retreat. Demonstrate your power. That is actually uh, definitely it. Where are you hitting me at? Sorry. <laughs> First saw only two oh, okay. cruisers, and then I wasn't I looking at it the again. Fighter. Uh, no. He's just gonna die honorably. So. Ah, oh, Nalu's fighting to the death. Let's go, Nalu. Two hits. All he needs two hits, Nalu. Uh, looks like zero hits for Cabal. Going to die is me. One hit. Uh, sustain. All Nalu needs is one more hit. That denies demonstrate your power. Where is uh, it? Dread twos. Dread twos. Yeah. Yep. You cannot. Okay. And they hit on sevens. It's most likely that Cabal doesn't get to demonstrate his power here. Wow. Oh, with zero more hits again. Oh. Oh, it's brutal. It's a disaster for the Cabal! Not again. Okay. That's oh my goodness, and Cabal almost got to demonstrate their power off of uh, Benediction, too! Maybe that it was Maverick flying this ship. Okay, Cabal is going to win the, the fight most likely now, but it's, it's like... It doesn't matter if it denied their secret not once but twice. Oh, now his ships decide to hit. It's too late for that, isn't it? Did you not get him on the last roll? I thought you got a hit. I had only one hit and you had two units. That is true, and actually. Because I already... Yeah, he's probably... I, I, I thought I only had one. Whoa. He must just be clearing the airspace then? Two fighters. Yep. Okay. Maybe he was trying to be... No. There's no way to demonstrate your power. You're right. 
All right. Get so many other. Uh, he could have demonstrated his power right here. Have we are. Have we already seen demonstrate. demonstrate your power? Now that I'm thinking about it again, I think we have seen demonstrate your power. No, we have not. He might just be trying. Either he needs a path from his railgun through the beta wormhole, or he's just trying to be uh, redundant and get multiple betas. If he is trying to get like alpha and beta, I don't mind this play at all. Because now they have to take him off of two betas. I think it's most likely that he's just trying to get a path to somewhere. But it's interesting that he sent both of those ships when now his unlocked ships are just these ones. We still haven't seen unexpected action though. Yeah, that could absolutely be it. And this beta wormhole was his only path to there. Or is his only path to there right now. He's only got one token left. So, is red winning this? I think he has it. I mean, he has so many tokens in Cruiser 2. Is it, they're asking if red's winning this? It's not going to be red winning this. Come on. Yeah. Wait, Mentex at eight? Why is Mentex at eight? Did I miss something? They just need to score the one pointer in that? Weird. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one. Oh, yeah, no, I did know that. One, two, three. Where's their guac? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, one. Oh, they can't score a one pointer. That's why they can't win. Cool. Okay. Got it. Got it. They have to score two pointer. But scoring a two-pointer is not too bad for them. They have basically everything unlocked, um, including Cruiser 2s. So they've just got to find some ways to sneak over to some systems where it's doable. But also, that is winning slower than Keller is. It's also notably winning slower than Cabal. If Cabal can score both of their secrets. We're still on the lookout for another action phase secret from the Cabal. Barrig Leader from Mahakt. Uh, okay. Your third to last token. I uh, probably can't hold it, can I? Mahakt bringing it in. No, they're not. They're, they're bringing it back. Are they just going to reinforce Mehra's Wool? Are they going to betray their support partner over Starpoint New Albion? The final hour, a dagger to the heart. The other option, move forward a bunch of these ships, and then that way you can hold, you can try to hold Barry Lirda with a stronger force. Unfortunately, you go here, then probably Nalu just kills you. <laughs> Thinking again. I've been really thankful for a lot of the players in this round five having their moves planned out, especially in round five where it's very hard to like know ahead of time what it is you're doing. So this one. There they go. The cruiser, they bring in a mech. I'd bring a mech. That's just me though. You got the mech right there on Abaddon. Is there any reason to like really have to defend this system? Yeah, there we go. Gravity drive. Gravity drive bringing in more from the home system. Now I just pray to God that your PTS. Uh, hold on. Can I really not get any more with me? God damn it. All right, here come the PDS shots. Oh my goodness, there's a PDS on each of those planets. I gotta be like this, I guess. Yeah. All right. One four PDS. Here the rolls come. One hit. God damn it! Fuck.
Where is he going? Going to Lyrda. Oh. Oh, whoops. I accidentally grabbed the tech. Oh, wow. That's what somebody did earlier, min tech. <laughs> <laughs> do you have parlay? Please parlay. Uh, I did, and it just. Yeah, right here. What is it? Do a place You're disgusting, mother. <laughs> <laughs> And my heart gets ruined. There it is. What a classic. Yeah. Parlay comes out. With my heart does not manage to claim the system next to another player's home system. Or the planet next to another player's home system. Wah. Wah. Well, I guess they could, with their last two tokens, pick up and go again. But at that point, that doesn't even get them two. Very sad. Mentax turn. Support for the throne. Support for the throne. I am gonna spend my mech. So you Ooh. are denied. You will lose your support. We're gonna see he loses the support for the throne and the mech still works, even if it's in space. Mm -hmm. uh, then I guess I'm not gonna do it. Uh, are they gonna let him walk that one back? No, you don't. You this super you don't get to do. Okay. There's like a million things stopping him from so doing we'll this. Activate it anyway, right? Yeah, purple's gonna use the star lancer here. All right, we are going to lose support for the throne. He knows. Okay. Yeah, Red doesn't care about support for the throne anymore. If they have their secret scored, then they just need the two-pointer and their secret, and that takes them to 10. Now Nalu has a nice support for the throne okay. that they can use to uh, PTS. do some funky stuff. Come the PDS rolls from Nalu. No hits this time. I'm using skilled retreat. Really, Mahawk's gonna skill to treat here. No Saba? Okay. Can you can I'm gonna go into load one? No, they're gonna go into a common jewel year. Okay. Lockdown. Okay, so they could take one of those. That's a good skill to treat. They just really wish they had exactly one more token. And Biosims and Predictive are both gone, and also none of these are their own tokens anyway. And also, leadership's already popped, and rally's already been played. Uh, I think that's. Oh, they could have unexpected action. They unexpected action this, and then they'd somehow claim a different one. Uh, where are you dropping it? Yeah, Red, we can't hear you if you're talking. Shoot. I don't know how I got muted there. Um, that <laughs> space combat, does that count as a win for me? Nope, not when nope. I use okay. skill retreat. Sounds good. Oh, Red cares about whether or not that was a win. Three and the mech on... Uh, I would not have been demonstrate power. A four? Okay. <gasps> I don't know what that so could have been. Space and defense? Oh, no, he's asking about his commander. It's all he's asking yeah. about. Uh, one... Nothing. All right. Then I take it. You do. Rate of four is gone. Nalu now must spend five trade goods to score the stage one. That's all fine. And that will end my turn. Oh, you hit nothing with your... Oh. I oh, know. Um, Some people got the luck. <laughs> Where does Nala go from here? I mean, it might just be a pass, honestly. They're done, right? Like, they can't... Can they score the two-pointer? That would get them to nine if they could still fight their way back. But they have exactly two tokens, so they'd have to do a one with one and... 
the other the other ones. They just don't have the movement on their carriers or dreadnoughts because they don't have them upgraded. They only have hybrid crystal fighter twos. Quick glance once again at the uh, tech overview. You have to take it back. You'll notice they have light wave and gravity drive, but only hybrid crystal fighter yeah, twos. I mean, oh right, you have a support. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. I don't have a second home planet. You will have. You will have Borja, I think. I can't get there. I don't have life wave. <laughs> you would just move here, destroy those ships, and move it. You have a cruiser ship. Yeah, but I don't have a way to unlock it again. Like me. All right. I think I'm gonna just do a soft, a soft pass this turn. Let me figure out what I'll do. Assume a hawk. Yes. Uh, that that was the assumption. There used to be a single Nalu fighter here and a single Nalu fighter here, but those escaped after one of the players was very smart. Called it out. I didn't even see it. I was wondering. I was like, why do they have PDS two? Uh, but they have not managed yet to score or turn their fate to dust. And bring out one of my dreadnoughts, and that's it. So it seems unlikely that they ever will. If they were to get Graviton Cannon, they could, in theory, do it here, but... Given how the new okay, Fates to Dust works. I play my hero. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. Is it well, they're eating big. Oh my god, they eat. That was like the best Cabal Hero I've ever seen. Not in terms of mass, but in terms of hit well, rate. I actually got something out of it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at look at Jail over here. <laughs> yeah, man. The lack of some people. Wow. There goes my lag. Goodness me. It's not an important. Uh, this fighter is removed as well. Okay. Um, there is no fighter two. What I can? Oh. Wait, there is fighter two. Ooh. I don't know what that wording on Cabal's hero is. And I'm gonna diplo over here. Keep the planets next to my home safe. That's a great move. Huh? So that's so weird. I've never, never considered that. I didn't even know. We just looked at the text screen. I didn't realize that Keller has had fighter twos. I wonder why Keller has his Fighter 2s. I guess they got it off of Enigmatic Device. Interesting choice. And looks like no one used... Oh, Nalu used... And Wolverine. I oh, know they did. Now white is going to take Zobat. So unlucky. I still need to find number two yeah. though. My game is over. I see no reason to play any further. Because I can't score anything late. Are we getting a pass from a hawk here? We're not getting that far. It's going to be over this round. How much time's uh, left on the clock? Yeah. Just over 30 minutes. I should have denied him this up here. Could have done it. Should have uh, spoken with you, Yellow. I don't know why I didn't do it. Oh, man. Such a long no, time. It's, it, it's okay, I could have yeah. been my uh, mech if had you paid me all your trade goods. <laughs> yeah. Rude. I, uh... Yeah, it's just that you Mahaka lifts up their token on Sautor. Decides not to pass. They're staying in. If nothing else, just a Winslay Cabal. Sounds like a pretty good plan if they're trying to win themselves. Force the tiebreaker instead. Not a bad thought process.
What's going on here? It's redstone. They stall by activating the supernova. They have enough tokens left to do that. Get to nine. And at least it's a fun play. I like the sound of this. I'm going to activate this Ooh. system. I'm going to oh, this is going to go really well. Game. I'm going to play flank speed. Here it comes. And I'm going to bring... Not a lot. I'm going to bring... I'm not going to bring my PDS. I'm going to bring these two. And then as many fighters as can fit. This. Put that underneath the line over here. And I'm going to bring... A single mech with me. <laughs> All right, Nalu Dreadnought and two fighters that versus. Is... Um, I don't think I have the movement. I'm a Hawked flagship Dreadnought, both sustained carrier fighter. Oh, and two other Mahawked fighters. How many PS shots? Bang, real quick. It looks like sure. uh, one. Wait, actually, just one. Yeah, actually, just one shot. Yeah. Um. So that's what I'm bringing with me. So you can roll your space cannons. Yay! There were apparently two hits. Oh, brutal. Uh, my fun little plan's not going to work here then, but that's okay. I'm going to unfortunately have to destroy the spider. Yeah, so. you spent your parlay on me. That's. Hey, that's okay. I know, I know, but this is this is actually a pretty fun move. I'm now going to play <laughs> route on you. <laughs> You gotta declare a retreat. If you oh? defender. Oh, if I'm a defender, I run. Oh, it's uh, not the defender. That's a bummer. It's even more oh, funny. Well. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> you you know, got I was retreat? thinking. I was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I always forget route exists, okay. and then every time I read route, I'm like, oh yeah, this card does exist, and then I figured out a no, defender it's thing, it's and then it's like, oh, the defender thing. Fun. I feel like I've like never had route myself. Yeah, plays over. Nice try, Nalu. Three hits. It was the right play from Nalu. The only way it wins. So now we're really in the Cabal Keller zone. Hey, at least they went out. Two hits. Two hits. And that'll be that. Good game, guys. We tried. Very valiant. That was Nalu's last token. Ron took a ball's final token. Oh my goodness. Or a funny move. <laughs> <laughs> uh... This Cabal have left. All these guys can go through the beta wormhole. Giving the ceasefire to Red was a, <laughs> was a big mistake. Oh, Red has Cabal ceasefire? And swapping with White. Oh, Cabal's neighbors both. You can't attack. So where does Cabal go? Should be a one-way support. Or I just... Uh, one, two, three. Does he have gravity drive? One, two, three. This carrier can get there and the Dreadnought can as well? Give me a, give me a minute. It's going to be my final move. Cabal can go into the devil system. Final message. Goodbye. What's he up to? But then Cabal can't score an action phase? Not to be aggressive, just defensively and build, build in the system, defend from red. I forgot that Nalu already owned one. Uh, we definitely uh, one Sage 2 objective planet. And he can move. Wait a second. White doesn't lose support if they go over here. No, but White doesn't have any other planets. Take it. He has a very high chance. Yeah. Take this system. He doesn't have the influence to get me here. I mean, unless he someone gives him more trade goods. All right. There is a Mac and a flagship fight. Never one trade good. It will only. No, you are going to get one trade good from Salvage. So... White also doesn't need the two, the two pointer. 
or just needs to score both their secrets but that seems less and less likely that's true just to commit never mind yep okay well, i could go over here just to make an example of their world in fleet you has you have uh, six it's enough it's enough to take just one cruiser It would be one mag versus one mag. 50 50. I, I don't have light wave. Uh, yeah, you, are, you have two tactic tokens, so you are going to clear this. Yeah, if, a... I, if I move in there, though, it locks them up. And you would still get the blue home. The ships in there, and you can move through. Uh, all of these ships of cabals are locked down. They only have one token, so they can't clear this out and go there. I don't think they can get to Blue's home system. Because, like, this carrier, for instance, goes one, two, three, four is as far as it goes. With four cruisers we are going to win everything. Yeah, I don't think they can get to Blue home. They don't have anti mass. Uh, they don't have gravity drive. Are going to pass, or uh, you are not going to take um, two planets? Um, I mean, maybe. I'm just gonna ruin it for you down here. I think I'll at least I'll try. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to take the second planet anyway. I mean, so... I'm pretty sure red is coming for you. That's his easy. Yeah, for me up, or right? or the white, I think. I feel like if red wants to make sure there's a the next doesn't... round, then he activates Warhol here. Doesn't yeah. have a gravity drive. He might have a flank. No, but it's cruising. Plenty of giant ships and stuff yeah, you can build one. over Warhol. Yeah. If he has a flank suite, it's going to be this system. And... Yeah, he might be lucky with those action counts. He has a lot. I think I just. That's right. I have no idea what's going to happen. Get down to 25 minutes. It's going to be a tiebreaker. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like I it might know. be a tiebreaker. To be honest, I have a chance to move this it, system, but oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to win it. I have a Dreadnought, I have a Carrier. They'd have to score an action phase. Uh, five fighters, six fighters, uh, one Carrier, and two. It looks like they don't have a scorable action in status. can die by moving out of the Rift, so I'm going to lose it anyway. So I, I think I would just defend from Red. But he's going to take it anyway. White, uh, do you have any chances to block him? Um, not easily, because it's already locked down. Let me send you a message. Mech on Max coin flip. We can make it a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Colors can still score two secrets. Yes, absolutely. Because uh, colors can just, but... they have the five trade goods they need. <laughs> or you can lie to me and use it. I was thinking Cabal was going to win, but oh. it doesn't look like it. I'm I'm yeah, cheering for Kellers. I want to see Kellers win. Mm. They're also on my fantasy team. Any ideas about what they can be? Uh, probably not we fleets to death. Uh, it could be make an example, because they can just go over to Zobat and make an right. example right there. Um, it's not for a color right here. Activate the system and uh, right. make a transaction. Uh, we know that before, Kellerus did not see a path to winning Would you like to uh, with their secrets. The oh, Vita, right? Uh, uh, they yeah. did get to draw a secret this round. If he takes it. I mean, maybe. I don't have that many ships. I'm still thinking about playing everything on one card and <laughs> trying to take it. I have three cards left. And so ends the Ballad of the Cabal. Yeah, never mind. Let it be a fun move. Someone be underselling their own win their own chances to avoid a win slay. Uh, so Cabal's chance to win here is A, they take one of these planets and hold both this and this planet. Um, uh, and then also they have to score one of their secrets and status. Carrier. Another option that Cabal has yeah. is that they score an action phase secret here. Then they score a uh, status phase secret 
and um, uh, it goes back. Yeah, and then that's it because they still have the five trade goods and they can score that. Go uh, so if go if Cabal is going to have a chance to win, they have to either score an action phase secret here or hold one of these planets and then keep it for the rest of the round. So, so let's see what happens. Fighters go with me. I need infantry with me. I don't need infantry on this planet, so one is enough. And I'm trying to move out. Teller seems somewhat likely to win. But but we get to know what Cabal's chances are as take. soon as this happens. Yep. So I roll for the rift. Wouldn't be surprised if you were there selling it. Yeah. You had to roll a rift for where he's going? Why can't I buy a crucible for myself? <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to lose it probably. I use the warp in. Uh, Here's the total of the Cabal's like forces. The that looks like a Are somewhat these winning fight here. Side? Yeah, it retreated, I think. Yeah. Before. If they're in space, they were retreated. I made sure they were clear to see. That's yeah, yeah Mentax also been very quiet. Yes, so you don't right. have any card? No, I don't have. Here comes Space Cannon for Mahawk. Good hits, good hits, good hits. One hit. One hit. That's no stay. Can't complain. Okay, Space Cannon. There's eight fighters, a carrier, a Dreadnought versus. Good lord. Oh my god, that was a lot of hits on both sides. Okay, I remove the carrier and more fighters. That's all four hits. We're down to just... No, no, no. My heart took off enough things. And we do it again. Do I still have a chance? Hits. This has got to be zero from Cabal. Oh my god, it's zero from Cabal! <laughs> what? I mean, that's enough, right? Yeah, but the uh, fighters uh, fight to the end. So now home system in range for anyone to strike at to take the yeah, shard. Top. Possibly Mentak. We'll check it after this fight. Two hits. If I survive. Okay. It. What did Zeverone get? One hit. One more hit okay. here too. Do you have a chances to take it back? Uh, Mentak would have to clear this. I should take a mech. Yeah. Seems okay. very reasonable. I land on the uh, bottom. You've been so There's much no against problem. me. One, two, three, four. Gonna... They don't have gravity yeah, drive, though. But I, I really uh, lost... I don't actually think Mentak can reach here. Not with ground forces. It's too much powerful faction. Yeah, I, I really felt that from the beginning. I knew, like, well, you had game where you lost to Mahak. That was for sure. I forgot to... Crucible that cheap away to white. I was like, whoa, I didn't notice that. Um, all right. I'm just going to go to Malice. Um, see if I can block off some stuff. So sending lots of stuff through the rift. Okay, so um, what Keller's a status phase secret is about either alpha and beta wormhole or being in the wormhole nexus. Cool. Oh, Sweet. Three successes. Three. Everything's making no, it. Not bringing any ground forces. Just blocking ships. I think it's secret. I am going to use... No, man. Oh, wait, I can. Woo, I get to use the shit card I had so long. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh, lucky shot. He actually got it. But Caval does have Fighter 2, so this stays. Makes it easier even for Mentak to come in and get. Or someone else. You never know. Play Cripple Defenses. Which PDS? What system? Uh, destroy a PDS. In what system? <laughs> uh, <laughs> looking. <laughs> Probably a Mahawk one. PDS. 
yellow. I don't need anything else. I mean, I can't get here, but <laughs> I can't do anything over here. Uh, All right, so let's take a look at what Mentax got left. Only okay. two tokens? I, think, like, uh, I guess purple. No predictive intelligence either, right? Because this is a scan link. Um, Mentac currently owns zero planets. Oh no, one planet next to another player's home system. Yeah, two. Cool. Two is get funny. Yeah. Uh, Why are they Winsling Mahawk? Uh, this is not Winsling Mahawk. Actually, this was Cabal going for the win. So yeah, current as it perfect. stands, right? Everyone passes right now. Cabal wins because Mentac or Nalo doesn't win on the zero. Cabal goes on the one. They get one, two, and they probably score a secret. Yellow passes. Okay. Pass. Green passes. Um, All right. You, you two have fighters. Uh, so red has two tokens. One of them's got to go here to slay Mahakt. Which they can do. They can go one, two, three. Except they do need to... This except they can't do that at all. Well, unless they have in the silence of space. Oh, they're ruining me. <laughs> it was my Sorry. moment for Imperia. Yeah. Didn't expect that. Yeah, I was hoping to give me a better order final round, which yeah for four trade goods it was. Let's take a boss home system. True, does have to get rid of this Nalu fighter. He doesn't have light wave. If he has this blank speed, he could also go to Nazaroka's home system. I don't know if he wants to do that though, because I think that still doesn't give him the win on the action phase. Uh, yeah. At least it's exciting game. Yeah, going to. Cabal's home system definitely seems like the play. So one go here to actually get in there. In fact, he can even just cruiser a mech over there. So he actually... Mentak already has the ability to get to Acheron with one mech. It's just a matter of if he could bring more. <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> I just don't know that Mentak has enough to slay Kellerez and win. He should be denied. So the question is, is Kellerez... Oh, winning got two actions if he has the flank speed two home systems so let's try it all right so this is a this is probably a make an example oh, of your world play i'm able to move in sure it's got to be this dreadnought sure this dreadnought right right because surely this is a make an uh, example of your world play sure oh, he's even got a ground force he can bring and the, is the dreadnought not coming? What's going on? Is it not making an example? If it's not making an example, then um, what other action phase secrets are there left that Kellerus could even do? What else do I need? That does not look good yet. Um, can't be fight with precision. It can't be fleets to dust. What are the other action phase secrets? All right, yeah, I just gotta go for it. Uh, so I'll also bring in the dread. Yes. Okay. There's the dreadnought. Um, is that overkill? I wonder if he's trying to set up for become a martyr. Do, do. No, because he needs to score the public objective too, so that doesn't work. All right, ball. That's ball doesn't win with the cool. become a martyr. No, okay. I'm gonna play route for real now. <laughs> All right. Where this extra Nalu? Oh, are you going to take the second plant? Go. Oh, I don't know. There's a white fighter that's not on a tile. All right. Fleet. Um, all right, let's roll. So I've got one round in which I need to kill everything here. Uh, yeah, that's... Kellerus needs three hits in one round. That's it. Wait, 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 that's not three hits. That's not it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Does he have... No, he does have dark energy tap. Uh, oh, what a disaster! He actually can retreat. Why do I mean, direct work? hit that dread. Just to it's uh, him. it's dread too. Oh, <laughs> still getting <into> it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Mentak win then. Mentak win's still cool. Um, let's see. 
Uh, so I can't retreat to Cormand, right? Because there's an infantry there. Uh, right. Yeah, okay. So then I got to go to the empty space. All right. That's me. Calaris can still make an example, though, because they have this dreadnought here. Okay. Do but have where? A city? It's Fighter 2. Oh, but no, I don't. Good call. And you'll have to. Yeah, it's locked. I locked it. Locked the system now. What? Oh my. Wait, there's only one fighter here. Gonna detect it? He's going to turn the fleets to dust! Was it dead or what? Oh, it hit. To dust! And it's ground combat. Yep. It's not fleets to dust? Which planet is it? Abaddon. Uh, yeah. GG. The ball's not winning. Oh, and I get to explore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. The exploration on Abaddon. Yeah. Oh, the cultural relic I, fragment. My first fragment of the game. And a promissory note. All right, so this dreadnought can go I here. Any, Very unlikely. The win can go oh, here. I'm going to play a different Even less topic. likely. And it can't go back to there. My can go one, two. You could. Oh my goodness! You could go flying across the skies. One, two, three, four, five. Anti mass. That would take doctors. crucible. Nice. Why would Cabal give him crucible? My turn. Uh, does anyone play Sabo? It's the moment. Well, unfortunately, when he drew one of seven action cards from my hand earlier, he took my sabotage. So. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. What even? What even is this game? I've never been so lost spectating a game of TI. Not because the players are playing by no, because they're playing well. Also, unless blue, you're willing to sell your promissory note. They have so many secrets left. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Had to ask. That yeah. was quick. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, then I've only got one way to win this, so I'm gonna go for it. Can I get <laughs> yep. With a, with a massive, massive fleet. <laughs> all right. A dreadnought versus I got two dreadnoughts and a fighter. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I just warp my stuff in. Work. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get to see the Argent Keller at zero. Um, That's sad. Let's see. No space cannon, no anti fighter. Let's, let's roll. Cool. Oh, this is how it starts for Keller. Is. What was that? Uh, you got one hit. Oh, wait, he's also got a fighter with it, too. Okay. Nice. What do I got in there? A little fighter guy. Come on, little fighter guy. Okay. Come on, Killers. No. Ooh, that's not good. Two hits. Oh my goodness, the odds of Keller is winning this are astronomically low. No, there's zero. All right, that is that then. Keller is does not win it. Oh, and because I. As of this exact second, no one's winning. Just want a space combat, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. I want to play Salvage. Ha! <laughs> 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 I finally got those two trade goods. <laughs> Oh, you got trade goods? A salvage coming in, stealing, ah. <laughs> stealing the two from Kellaris. Right. No hero from Kellaris. Kellaris can't hero. Kellaris yes. doesn't, doesn't own any of those planets. Hey, Harzel. There we go. Sure. One, two, three. Let's yes. Go. Wait, anti-mass? Yes. Enigmatic device gave them anti-mass. 
three. Mentech has one. Mentech has two. One, two. Mentech wins. As long as they win this ground combat, which is... Let's use space can defense. Not guaranteed. Let's space can an offense. I'll destroy a cruiser. All right, all right, all right. All right. And now we go to... Infantry versus mech to stop the win. Send it to tiebreakers. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, okay. Still alive, still alive. Lost one of these. But I don't think you will, because I'm not hitting. <laughs> there it is. Is that it for Mentech? Is that Mentech? Is that the Mentech win? I guess it's GG, red. Oh, yep. I pass. We have to score an order. All right, I will pass as well, then. It's not last to pass from Mentech. Okay, scoring an order. Nalo. Yeah, I got five trade bids. Let me score that. Nalu up to eight. Okay, I have five trade goods and 12 influence. Vol goes to nine. We have a tiebreaker, it's at nine. I've got five trade goods and become the gatekeeper. We have two possible people on our thing. But Mentech, do they score their secret? The answer is yes, but. All four in the color. Purple. I got nothing. Okay. I have rule distant planets and master the law of physics. Okay. There it is. Four of the same color for Mentech. Yeah, nice Good job. Game, Mentech win. Everybody. Congratulations, Mentech. Thank you. I did not. I think that's the first Mentech win of the tournament. Wow. So very nice. I honestly did not see taking the the second spot until very late in that round. I mean, you had the most tokens, and I yeah, <laughs> all the yeah, some way I mean, to figure it out. opened up so much just to make sure I didn't get any point one point. Yeah, like, yeah. Whoa, what is going on? And and like looking at this beta wormhole, like that was oh man, low odds for. Thank me. you guys very much for tuning in. Okay. Um, this was uh this was a great game. Mentak won base game win after all these uh prophecy of kings things. I was worried for a while that it was going to be Mahawk or uh Cabal again. Uh, but nope, we got a Mentak win uh, with a last ditch that into the guaranteed four of the same color. Very nice play. Thank you guys all so much for tuning in. Um, and I'll be back next Saturday with another game streamed. And yeah. Uh, I'm going to stop the stream now, but I also stream Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh man, I got to switch the thing. Here. I don't know how I not I don't dox myself. Oh well. And just get rid of the video. That'll do it. Um, I also stream Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some slay the spire. But that'll be it for me. Uh, thank you guys very much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.